It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I, we, uh, real quick, I want to I wow. want to thank everyone. Uh, this is a Are little bit of a change. Are there people here on Tuesday? <laughs> and we're not sure how long we're going to do the Tuesday, but for right now, that's what we're doing. Yeah. And so right uh, we now, just appreciate people coming. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, if, um, we, we, we like feedback and people like the Tuesdays as opposed to Sundays, but it kind of has to be Tuesday right now because it's in between Monday and Wednesday when I'm doing my Disney events, so. Yeah, so we are, we are here and you are here and we're super crazy thankful. We're here, thank you. So. Thank you, and thank you, yes. everybody coming out. Um, I'm telling you guys that uh, Disney. <laughs> I, I did. I felt like I was gonna get in. It's funny because a few people talked about getting the break after the uh, Epcot show, <laughs> and then and then it's like oh, immediately oh, after oh, the Epcot friend. show. Yeah. Boom. Happy Tuesday, Angela. Oh, happy Tuesday, Angela. So hello, Leslie. Um, Hi, but Leslie. yeah, uh, we um, so I'm cr I'm so busy right now. Yeah. yeah um, is. but I think I'll get fairly caught up yeah. uh, uh by the weekend okay. which is funny because that's like a normal human right it's like regular yeah. yeah and then we'll be back on uh so tomorrow we'll be at disney at I'm disney springs day, right? yeah yeah today is tuesday tomorrow's wednesday we do um monday and wednesdays there the crowds uh the cr the crowd on um last thursday was kind of like a what would you call it? A soft opening, Jasmine? <laughs> Disney said it was a soft opening, so that's why I didn't tell anybody. We didn't about really it until promote Monday. it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say uh, so that was on a last that Thursday. Was a Thursday, yeah. You, uh, I am just doing Mondays and Wednesdays, but the whole event started on Thursday, so that's why it was there. On the right. Thursday so Jasmine's time. arts, it's she's just there. In person. Um, uh, her artwork's there no matter what. Oh yeah, my whole art is in like a show. There, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a show. It's like a show with a show. a um. A group of pre-approved, pre beautiful, <laughs> pre-selected items from Jasmine yeah. that she thinks kind of has, it shows a lot of a range. Yeah. And uh, I think there are a lot of good images. I think so. Some so, of my favorites and some new ones too. Which right. Cool. And uh, people have, uh, it was so much busier on Monday though. Yeah, which but, is weird because Monday's usually dead. Right. I Disney, don't but... know what to expect tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know okay, either. So Marty says I'm planning on going tomorrow to Disney Springs. I oh. will say for the locals, it it I think this event isn't going to have the crazy lines. No, not that the Epcot not had. yeah, not no, So I, if you want to well, chat for a while, a week, so it shouldn't be too crazy. Mm -hmm. Right. If you want to chat for a while, feel free. Um, and we, also, I've we'll been have a little bit more time there too, which is kind of yeah. Fun. That's um, I, I uh, a lot of spectators there. <laughs> yeah, if you uh, look in the archives, I uh, think it was two weeks ago, or not two weeks ago, two sessions ago, Twitch sessions where you were actually sketching. Oh yeah, and drawing that was time before. Uh, yeah, on, that was on, uh, on Twitch here, mm -hmm. and that's what you're doing in real life. That that is what I'm doing in real life. Not that Twitch isn't real life, but that, yeah, that's what I'm doing up at uh, Disney Springs every Monday and Wednesday. Right, so uh, yeah, we watch uh, me draw. Actually, yeah, one of the drawings, I, two of the drawings I did um, at Disney on Thursday. Was that Thursday when I did these ones? Hey, ja uh, yeah. yeah, Jasmine, yeah. Can, uh, hockey uh, uh, regular, hockey so, regular. Um, says, <laughs> it, can, what do you call people on uh, Twitch? What do we call these? St stream friends? That seems weird. Dream finder? Dream finder. <laughs> Stream finder? Litter mates. Uh, yeah. Litter mates? Okay, our litter mates here. <laughs> Uh, Twitch, Twitch hockey is a uh, no. hockey is a regular in the room, a okay. regular litter mate. Thank you. Um, and ask a We're question. We're not really gonna call it litter mates, dude. <laughs> Can I have your permission to get one of your artwork at, for a tattoo in the future? Yes, absolutely. Yes. That is one of my favorite things that people do with my You can. Artwork. You absolutely I mean, can, and we would love it if you would send us a picture because I love seeing how they turn out. Or show me in real life. That's even more. Yeah. And Depends fairy, where, yeah. oh, fairy bell has uh, subscribed four months in a row. Thank you so much, Thank fairy you bell. Very much, fairy bell. Every little bit helps. Yes. We are starving artists, after all. Or Jasmine's a starving artist. I do all right. <laughs> yeah, we I, we actually do all right. <laughs> and I also had a big pretzel like a minute ago. So. Oh, we we did. Well, w there, there was a, um. My I have been okay. Told so me. I um. You guys probably. <laughs> oh, this Lord. is the first time I've sat down today i've yeah. been running around like a madman well even when i was um signing all those canvases this morning i stood up the whole time yeah yeah yep. so i've been running around like an idiot this all morning is, um, yeah other than just now when i had that pretzel that's the first time i've sat down getting stuff done yeah. yeah i even did my social medias when i was walking and hockey says thank you you're very welcome 
you are very, very we'd love to see it we'd love to put it here on twitch oh i actually um i took a photo of uh somebody's uh showed off their tattoo oh at disney at disney yes. and it was uh your beautiful tightrope girl, girl. Yes. yeah i've seen a few people do her oh they did a pretty good job too. i think in particular tightrope girl makes for a super good tattoo because it's a very tall vertical design and people like it on their arms and legs or like on their side Yes. Also, I, I will say um, it it looks good mm -hmm. as a tattoo without the background necessarily. You know, yeah, yeah, you don't well, necessarily need the background. I saw, I've seen a couple that people have done of tightrope girl tattoos that have the background. And somebody had such a good one that was like down their back, like on their spine. And they actually did this, my swamp painting and everything or part of it. And it looks super good. But, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Saturn Mom. That's three fun? months. A oh, sub wow. subscription time. Three months, month. so that would be in June. No, sweetie, you always oh. confuse. It has been three months. Oh, so that ja would have been. You, in you have to remember, ja Jasmine what? does not. Um, Jasmine, I don't see the TV, yeah. so I don't know what's going on. And then there's stuff happening here: <laughs> hype train, sub gift, or use bits to get to the next level. What's that mean? I don't even know what that means. Oh. Gift a sub. Oh, well, that costs money. Is the music going? I thought, yeah, I I think the music's going. Is the music going, guys? I can't, I can't hear it. Oh, I can't it is. It's very, it it's bit. very quiet over here for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it's they have a different volume level. Mm. You hear it now? I can a little bit. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's about as much as I usually hear it. Right? Yeah, so. it's kind of weird. It is. Man, I am going through pain. Uh, so uh, right yeah, now. I'm talking a mile an hour just because I think I'm finally Same. happy to sit down. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, we did not expect, we didn't know what to expect as far as people in the room here oh. on, uh, low is good. We want it low hockey. <laughs> we don't want the music to overtake. It's kind of like a background music, noise. Actually music. what music can do when, mm -hmm. I mean, it kind of keeps things going, especially if Jasmine and I are quiet for five seconds, which is a long time it is. to be quiet. Like when you're on, um, when you're live, it is, uh, but it's something in the background, like you don't hear as many of our dumb noises if there's music going it kind of filters it out in your head talking? No. not talking i mean that's that's a different like, sort of oh, dumb like noise. If we're eating and we're slobbering and making drinking noises or whatever things like that yeah. peripheral noises uh ambient background noise this noise. is the ambient background noise How yeah the the ambient that's what it, the noise. music takes over the ambience yeah. so it's kind of used to cover that it's, it's very clever the sound yeah yeah the, the noise right the sound is the good part the noise right. is the bad part so that's why we have that's why we have music. I think that's why music's doing. It's not like we're dancing to the beat here with our old uh, no, chamber I music. No, <laughs> I did sometimes when I was still able to do crowdcast. But <laughs> we'll get back into doing some crowdcasts again once. Um, oh, shiza. Mm. You good? I got pain on my tummy, but. Oh. Not on my tummy, but on like my overalls. Oh crap. Do you, do you need to change? Lots of, there's lots of paint already on these overalls. Aw, those are so cute. These are my painting overalls, dude. These yeah, but I wanted to cute. take you mini golfing in those. I will wear this mini golfing. Do you think I won't? <laughs> oh, Christian got his win. You are welcome. Oh, his prize from last time? Uh, that was prize? from a while back. They're in the yeah. UK, so it takes Christian, forever. Christian, um, Ian, and Kelly's Christian. Yep. Oh. Good memory. Because at first we thought uh, we thought it was Ian. I oh, thought, and I was like, yeah. Is Ian short for and I was like, oh no, he, that's he his kid. Out, he, Ian helped me out earlier today, actually, because I was I had forgotten that um, British summertime hasn't started yet. So instead of being at eight o'clock or twenty o'clock UK yeah. time, right? It's uh, nineteen o'clock or seven o'clock. Oh, yeah. okay. And I had written yeah, that wrong, I'm... and then Ian's like, ah, summertime doesn't start until the twenty eighth or something. Oh, so. Like, ah, yeah. Beach tea. Oh, thank you for the 100 bits, Saturn Mom. Oh, thank you very 100 much. 100 bits. You are in first place. Yay. What, what's the bits? The, the right. bits are little bits of money. Like, Ooh. it's like well, a I know two bits. Tip. I kind like of think of it like cents, a tip. Right? Jasmine? Oh, I see. It's like a uh, I remember tip jars used to be big on Twitch. I don't know if anyone does that. I'm not tip sure. Um, uh, but Beach Teen oh. says, hey, how was the event this weekend? And um, but was, uh, they probably yeah, uh, but <laughs> they probably mean Monday. Monday, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it you know what? Awesome? They're probably assuming because we weren't here on Twitch on Sunday. Right. They're thinking that's why we're here. No, we are um, not on Twitch on Sundays because Sunday evenings we have to prepare to get everything ready to Disney on Mondays. 
so that's right. why we're not on Twitch. But Mondays and Wednesdays I'm at Disney, so Twitch is Tuesday for now. We might keep it there for a while, I don't know. Don't feel obligated to fill the silence with talking. It can be relaxing. Oh, I think Dodo, Dodo just told me to shut up. That's a very polite way to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take some lessons. If you, if you, you know, if you guys ever have a, uh, uh, if you guys think that's a good idea, we could always have a quiet twenty minutes where Jasmine just paints. I'm not sure that's if that's a good idea or not. That's what crowdcast basically is. Yeah, that is what crowdcast okay. is. Um, but I haven't been able to right. find an extra day a week to do that. Okay, it said in Jeanette in the UK, uh, husby, hubby received his win too. So I think that the UK things... The UK prizes are making yeah, it. I think that UK things are slowly... Um, I think uh, the shipping's slowly getting better. I hope so. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. AM Weber subscribed oh, Jasmine for 19 months in a row. Wow. So that means... That 19 months ago, they first started opening. Correct. Started. Now, something that could have been a break, learn. though. Huh? If you miss a month, it starts over. So I that's, think, that's I think like so. consecutive months, then. Yeah, I think it's consecutive, Ooh. so it's kind of amazing. Yeah. It's Get hot out water. today. Is it 90 today? I think today is a 90 day. Let's uh. see. <laughs> yeah, for those of you not in Florida, it is 90 degrees here. Oh, it's here. not bad. No, it's 84. <laughs> oh, I thought it was supposed to be 89 today. I guess I've just had the windows open so it's hot. Gosh, I opened my phone and then there's somebody talking about it's good stuff, Jasmine. Okay. Contract info. <gasps> it's like this there's, there's nothing ever stop around here. Heck no. Oh, but yes, uh let's see if I missed any questions. I think I had one up here. If I miss any questions. We should show Oh uh, no, it Tigger had a comment. Oh, so we should show the raffle thingies. Oh yeah. Um, we will. Uh, Tigger said, popping in to say hi. Hubby, hubby representing the Tigger household today. Oh. See you on Monday. Oh, uh, oh, next Monday. Yeah, they're coming to Disney. Okay. Well, yeah, we, we, yeah. Um, we will. Uh, we I'll will accept. Uh, we will accept the uh, substitution. Although yes. they're always here, right? Oh yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I'll, I'll, let me show. Oh that. yeah, Jasmine, we're up to sixty-eight viewers. I didn't realize. Hey! I, I was thinking we'd get around fifty today. That's hey, that's already good then. Nice. So oh, now it's seventy-one. Well, knowing that we, I, we've been doing it on Sundays for so long, I think um, people get used to that time or that day rather. So I, I, it might take a while to get the word out, and then by then we'll probably switch the day. Okay. If you click the little follow thingy on do you Twitch, to, does that let people know like when my next? Do you change the AC? Are you hot? Oh, no, I'm fine. Okay. I'm just thirsty. Oh, yeah, I'm thirsty today, too. I realized I wasn't, I didn't have much uh, to drink in the morning. You know, I didn't have a lot of drink. <laughs> Early times. I was yeah. just, I was four mimosas, okay? Oh, God. Yeah. Four mimosas. Uh, morning mimosas? Four mimosas gardens. Four mimosas gardens. You know what four mimosas You know, it's been forever since I've sat down at a brunch uh -huh. and had a nice oh, mimosa. My. Gosh, it has been. See, uh, straight to the alcohol. We didn't even. We didn't even. Yeah, no foreplay this time. We're yeah, talking about booze. You, yeah. <laughs> no, um, but I was just thinking about you know, morning drink. But uh, no, I had, no. I hadn't had any proper liquid. No. This morning. Yeah, hydrating liquid. Right. But uh. What? what? Okay. So yeah. I, should, I need to show people what the. Oh the, yes, the yes. So are. we yeah. are a, a beautiful little uh, painting that Jasmine did back in the day. Uh, how many years ago was this, Jasmine? Oh, I don't know. Somewhere between 5 and 25? <laughs> um, I don't know. This one was, um, this is Annie's and, um... Artemisia. Artemisia. I guess that one is Annie's, because she's got star in her, um, hair. And this is Artemisia. She's got a little bit of the plant that... These are both plants that go in the drink absinthe, like if you are, um brewing it with the original herbs and everything you know what man what up what's what's on this picture a uh, luna moth they're in this picture and i found a whole bunch of them this week when i've been jogging jasmine found... exercises in the morning and oh sends me a picture of, of luna moths i, I should... have them on my phone you know i f i took a picture oh, do I oh go, go yeah feel free uh, I, no i'll show you it's creepy so yeah no. luna luna moths this are is not a, gorgeous it's... And she keeps sending me pictures. Well, this is 
a less gorgeous picture of a woman. Oh, is it sad? It's kind of sad, but it's kind of interesting. I don't know how good this. I'm not up. sure if they're in my history because I. No, think I haven't shown you this. When one. you this text is from, them, this is from a few hours ago. Oh. If you look at this picture, you can see parts of like oh. several Luna moths, like a. Massacre. Yeah, those glowy bits are Luna moths. And if you look in the, uh, they're coming out of a hole that an armadillo is in. Ha. And I think the oh, armadillo, was armadillo eating them? I think he was eating the bodies of them. You know how squirrels will do, and they leave the wings. You know, there's uh, armadillos I'm, are weird. I'm dudes, interested, man. Jasmine. I think if if I break out of uh, my vegetarian habits, <laughs> I'm gonna going to start with Luna moths. I'm going to go straight to Luna moths. Okay. Straight to Luna Moths. Well, I know where there's some wings from an already dead, uh, like four or already. No, I want dead the body. Wing. Oh, the, that's probably where the that's nutri- that's got that's are? got the meat. That's where the vitamins. Right. Are. That's got the protein. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. I will eventually glow, or get moon powers. I don't know. Well, when I go jogging in the mornings, I usually leave when it's still dark out, and then it starts turning light by the time I get home. So when I'm in the woods, I still see a whole bunch of the nighttime animals out, which is why I like going at that time of day. So hockey says uh, wings are the best part, and I'm like, for reals? Oh, I, I, I don't think yeah, I, I didn't know this was a tried I don't and true eat thing. Animals? Am I the I only one that wants to uh, that one, feast but... upon the the mighty <laughs> Luna Moth? I, I I don't know. It, you know what? If I were starving and like shipwrecked or something i would totally eat a luna moth but i'm not so well you know i i feel that way about all animals (laughs) (laughs) yes sir (laughs) that hockey says that's for reals uh so i'm thinking that uh, well i mean you've seen it too you okay jasmine imagine um a little stand that has the old some of the old it looks kind of generic wrapping it's got like some a fireball uh uh, you know the jawbreakers, and it's got some mm-hmm. crappy Twizzlers, and maybe some little bit of honey sorts okay. of things, and like old bags, like but they're generic versions. Okay, uh, near those, sometimes I see these little grubby bugs, and oh, people yes. eat them. I know. Is what that you're talking that's about. not just me? Other those people are, are seeing this, are, right? Um, those are things they stick in candy, right? Right. Are, are they yeah. Worms, people are like, eating tequila, bugs more. And they put them it's in candy. Yeah, something. Well, at Disney World, actually, there are a few places that you can eat bugs. See, even at Disney, you can, well, you can feast Kingdom, upon the bugs. Well, in the African section, in their um, Harambe Market, they have some sort. They've got something that has some sort of grasshoppers and ants in it. Actually, Cava del Tequila at Epcot, they have. If you got a tagine rimmed margarita, there's one that has ants. Okay, Katie ants. just said the ant margarita. Yes. Okay. See, ant margarita I should be lie. a person that you love, married ant to your margarita. uncle. Aunt she Margarita is, should not be something thirsty, you drink. But, you know, <laughs> I'm staying the weekend with Aunt Margarita. Yeah, Aunt Margarita yeah. would be like your um, badass aunt that makes really, really uh, amazing Mexican food. Oh, it I should thought not it be might a drink. be more like a metaphor for like Margaritaville or something. I was like, aunt, not like Aunt Flo or anything, right? Yeah, it's like Aunt Flo, but Margarita. Margarita. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, what are you Think sweating? That one out. You, you, you're, is this your time of the... You're sweating margarita. <laughs> that, that. Uh, you could probably you could probably synthesize on. that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Katie says I drank it and it was delicious. I'm sure the margarita itself is fine, but when I have I have had that one, but I asked for it without the ant rim because I consider that to not be vegetarian. <laughs> okay, so hockey ate uh, these bugs for survival training. Okay. Well, so hockey sense. was your like in like for the military or. <laughs> I don't know. Well, no, they make you do that. It was was it or, or hockey? Is this like some, uh, like you you have a tent and, and you run around and, and you've got a Rambo knife online and you know you're rolling around and hiding in ditches. <laughs> I mean, is that? That's what I do, but I don't eat animals. Well, I'm, what does survive? Uh, what is survival training? Is like, it like zombie for, apocalypse for, no, no, training? No, 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 like the for the military. Like how I you don't know. Go, and you, well, I know the one. I don't you, ever get enough information. Army, gotta find an okay. Animal, and you've got to the eat army it and all that. Yeah, yeah, army. Hockey said army. Yep. There you go. I remember those Rambo knives from the uh, uh, the survival knives. That yeah, the back. Rambo survival knives. I remember those from the eighties, and those rocked. Yeah. So imagine a big knife. <laughs> Like really big. I mean, yeah, it's, it's nice. like crocodile like, dundee would be all right. Yeah, they're like twelve inch knife. Yes. Yeah. 
and in the handle, you, you, there was a compass on the bottom, so you always knew where you were going with your knife. Yes. You could unscrew it, and then inside you'd have a, a like a little saw. And how that worked is it was uh, on a is it like, like a, a wire. Ar- is it kind of like how a Swiss Army knife has all the kind kind of? It? It's like it's like a Swiss Army knife that's not as compact. Okay. You'd wear this on your side or your boot. Because it's a big knife. Right. I but it, it had a wide. saw that was like a lo- like a a wire, kind of like my framing wire. Oh, okay. And you just like, and it had two rings, and you put them in between your middle fingers, and you go, zzz, zzz, and you could. Can you, you could... use it for a garrote? What? Can you use it for a garrote? What? What's a garrote? Are you kidding me? Okay, it's like a um a, a, a wire, a, a narrow wire that has two small handles, Is... and you you clo- you very quickly can okay. almost decapitate. Okay. Unlike with Jasmine, it. With I was not little... raised up in the yakuza. Uh. <laughs> so um I. <laughs> Okay, yes. Oh, so dropped in the forest with a map, survival knife, and a compass for our training. That is kind of cool. It is. I kind of like that hockey, but I don't wouldn't want to eat the bugs. They make ya. <laughs> so uh, DRSMBA, Dr. Simba, <laughs> says, um, I've had scorpions, grasshoppers, and ants deep fried in peanut oil. Oh, okay. In China while while drinking a b- baiju. Okay. Do, you, do we know that drink, Jasmine? Is do we have that? The um, It is a rice. Wine liqueur? Is so that what I think? Crispy Critter is a violent femme also. <laughs> With, yes, you can use it as yes. a garotte. And they, Excellent. I think they spelled it right. G-E-R-O-T-T-E. Garotte from the French. Oh, they said yes. G-A-R-R-O-T-E. Is that, that it? Or two T's? You know, I think when we... Well, in English, you usually put two T's in it. It's a French word, but I think it usually is two T's. So how do you say, it? How do you say it with a with a sweet French accent? Garot. <laughs> <laughs> That's my sweet. Garot. 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 I like it to sound like Je a Je m'appelle anglais garot. What's up? Je m'appelle anglais garot. Je m'appelle anglais is not what we say, baby. I love, I love France. I love Paris. As you know, Jasmine, it's my favorite city in the world. I love it, too. It's not my favorite city, I don't speak I a lick a of French, but I love the French people. You know why? Because they're magnificent. Magnifique. Oh, d- uh, DRSMBA is Don. I spoke with you earlier. Oh, awesome. Hey, hey Don. Th- uh, yeah, Jasmine, um, I uh, I had a question for Don. Oh. And um, I called him up. Oh, hey, all right. Yeah, so sometimes I, I sometimes I call. Sometimes uh, you talk to people. I call people yeah. on the phone when I have a question about their order or something. Oh, okay. It so, yeah, this, like, uh, well, hey, it's, it's nice to see you. Um, Thank you so as much. As you can see, I don't only blather on the phone. I blather us. as uh, Jasmine <laughs> as Jasmine paints, so yes, it's it's yes. fantastic to uh, see you. And um, Don informed me that he will be uh, coming to visit us. Oh, at Disney, one, at Disney one of the days. He Yay. and um, does he live locally? Up or? in uh, well, I don't know how much info he wants me to give, but well, he yeah, lives up north. Anybody, up north. Up north. Up north. Oh, up north. Okay. Sometimes people Come don't. Get some Florida sunshine. Sometimes people don't want me to give out info, or they try to remain anonymous. But that's, that's he introduced fine. himself to the room, so I thought oh, it was okay. cool. All right. But I yeah, don't, um, I don't see the chat room, so I don't know what's going on. No, Jasmine is. You always been yeah. blessed with a really. I think your art attracts really nice people. Yeah, I think so too. G- generally, generally it does. Oh, very I, clever yeah. people. Clever, P- handsome people. No. Pittsburgh area. <laughs> oh, okay. I wonder if it's cold up there now. Where were we up in Pittsburgh? Is that is that where the is that where one of the theme parks is, Jasmine? That's right, Kennywood's there. Kennywood. Kennywood. Yeah, we I went love to Kennywood. Kennywood. Yeah, it that's is the one. Cool, because when you are on it, it's they have one ride that is kind of like set into the cliff, and you can see a lot of the big mines and things around there that used to be. It's it's an interesting place. It's got a really cool mix of like industrial stuff, and but also having been in American City there for a long time. Hockey says he is not a he is not a uh, nice person. <laughs> Minus me. I'm intrigued. <laughs> yeah, suddenly Jasmine's interested suddenly in hockey. Jasmine likes you. No. Hockey's like, I'm not a nice person and I want to get a tattoo. <laughs> uh, yes, that, that's a... Yeah, yeah. Don't mess with me. I've survived in the wilderness for at least... How many days was it, Hockey? 23 here today was 60 on Saturday. Eek. You need survival cold. instincts like no. that. I don't survive. I, I could not do winter survival, although I have a book about it. Yeah. I found it fascinating. It was like studying the enemy. 
<laughs> I, I don't want, I do not like winter. I, I do not. I don't like cold, horrible winter. I really like all the seasons, but cold, horrible winter, I don't dig. I don't like uh, it when it starts messing with my fun time. Two weeks of survival training? Yeah. Ah. You know, I was half tempted, Jasmine, just because we were kind of razzing on it the other day to watch an episode of Naked and Afraid. <laughs> And I was like, I don't, because I, I, I think I have a morbid fascination with it, but that must be the reason people are watching it. Of course. Now, uh, it, Naked and Afraid, is is it I, like, is it always that. a boy and a girl? Are they trying to, are they trying to be like they might be friends? If oh you know God, I mean? is it a thing where they're supposed to get naked and I like, don't know. Is it not like, um, oh, uh, like a, I. The Bachelor? What's the. Not the, something what's island. get married? Fantasia Island, not a uh, fantasy, not fan- fantasy. Island is uh, a TV no, show. Temptation, Temptation Island, is the one. Sounds the like Office Survivor episode resort. is something. <laughs> uh, I bet that is funny, Katie. You know, I haven't given the American Office enough of a chance. I've never um, seen it. I've I'm seen, such a. I've seen the British Brit one. That was not enjoyable. Brit. I have not seen the American Office. Pictures of winter are pretty, but I I rather Georgia. Yes. Yeah, Georgia has become a, a verb. I, I you're correct. It, well, Florida is a verb. Now, I, 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 I Florida, therefore I am. Uh, you know, sometimes I wonder if I am that Florida man. You, I think you are, Matt. I, you are Florida man. <laughs> I have to be, but I'm not the Florida man. I think I, I think I know the Florida man. I think I know lots of them. <laughs> I think I see them all the time. Yeah, gas station. Yeah, I'm telling you, Florida. <laughs> Florida is uh, has a wide variety of people. It's getting it. weirder. <laughs> It is getting a little Florida weirder. Florida is a weird place. I love Florida. It's a very strange place. It's not. It's it, It's not like the other states. It looks, the state, if you look at the map, it looks like it's barely, barely hanging on. Well, and then you and I think that's a that, metaphor. that it's covered with islands around the edges. And you can't even tell that you're on the island sometimes because the whole state just kind of dribbles off into the sea, you know? You know what's fun to me, Jasmine? What? Is when we're on one of the keys... Mm-hmm. And I can't, I, I know this sounds, this sounds not right. Hi, sunshine. What, what are you looking for? Is she behind my tele, or my computer Your scanner. Monitor? Or my scanner. Dude, get off that dial. Your scanner that they don't sell in the stores at and we have to buy extra ones because. I have three hey. of those scanners in boxes because I love that scanner. I don't want it to die. Well, so, I do that uh, with, I do that with my paints. I do it with like groceries and condiments. I'll have like backup boxes of everything so that when I. My Run rag, my know. rag bag says yes. Georgia winter is amazing. I have a thing on our shopping list that almost says my rag bags. My bag rags. I know what rags. it is. It's for my varnishing yes. rags, isn't it? Bag yes. rags. Yes. Hockey said snow here last night. Uh, well in Wisconsin. Oh, you're a Wisconsin guy. Ooh. I don't. I don't mess with a Wisconsin few people, people from Wisconsin. Last night at Disney from yes. Milwaukee. Yes. Yes. Wisconsin people are happy to be here. But Michigan you can people? you can kind of tell that they they're like this is weird you know I'm at, I'm out like I haven't been anywhere for nine a months and they're suddenly at Disney now it's just Disney yeah world. it is weird and then to be in Florida after coming out of like big winter storms and stuff and it's yeah it's more of a weather thing than the state they're from yeah 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 but we have a uh, hey hockey uh we've nearly uh, did you ever go to did you ever get to Wisconsin. Did you ever get up to Wisconsin, Jasmine? No, remember Did, we you tried didn't take to that drive ride? to it, and the police said we weren't allowed. There was a, there were floods then. <laughs> that was about what eight years ago. Yeah. Well, I, I'm i every year I go to a place that is on the Wisconsin border, and it is one of the couple states I have not visited for some reason. <laughs> oh, hockey's originally a Jersey guy. We had some Jersey people. We had a lot. The of first Jersey people, people were from Jersey. Yes. Yeah, lot, yesterday. Actually, yesterday at Disney, almost everybody was from up north. I think more so than Florida people. And Crispy says it's 45 and sunny in my part of Washington. Oh, that's nice. I love Washington. Well, I'm happy it's sunny. Sunny can make all the difference. Washington it, needs more sunny. Yeah, if you have 45 and cloudy, it's oh. so much colder than 45 and sunny. Yes. And there are three tornadoes? What? what K- oh, Katie said there are three tornadoes. Luke, what, Luke posted now, about Katie, that today. Um, Kay Harmon in the room, she's uh, from... Where Jasmine and I are originally from, Kansas yes. City area. And I guess it's that time of year, isn't it? Well, yeah, Luke posted, yeah. our nephew Luke posted about uh, tornadoes this morning. 
He's like, God, I wish I was somewhere where there were storms, but it wasn't tornadoes. And it's like, hey, Luke, our, our, we got room at our house, and hurricane season's going to start. That's fun. It's interesting hearing about all the places that got snow while it's in the mid-50s in Montana. <laughs> Ain't that the thing? Ain't that the thing? Uh, hockey says Florida's all Jersey people, especially in Clearwater. <laughs> oh, I love the people in Clearwater. Clearwater is great. You know, the Clearwater, Tampa, Tampa area, th- those are those people are cool. I think they're all... I think Orlando, you know, we kind of got the Disney thing going on, think, and and we're kind of, you know, it's nice and wholesome, maybe, <laughs> kind of got the, yeah. well, at least in our town. Yeah. You go to Tampa, and they're a little bit more cool. Yeah. And then you go to Miami, and they're like, they're, they're like really too cool. cool. <laughs> too cool. For they're me. like too cool. It's like everybody walks. To, it's like there's music, and I don't hear it, <laughs> and they're walking to that rhythm, and I'm like, is there, like, is there a speaker? You know, but. Yeah, True. there's different there's different levels of cool. Maybe it's as you go south. Key West. Key West. Is, they, they're so cool. They don't even care. Key West is so cool. They seceded from the. They don't even once. care. Yeah, I love Key West. Marty says I'm a cool girl. Haha. <laughs> no, my Miami is totally. Cool. That's the coolest. That even though it's hot, um, it's the coolest, probably lowest city that's big. Lowest, in our country. You mean um, in elevation? Uh, in, or in, in south. Latitude. South. Oh, I see. Yeah, Heck, yeah, also yeah. elevation, Jasmine. What yeah, is, I know. It's I was going there. to say it is zero degree sea level there. So. See, Angela says I'm a Boston girl. A bo- now, the thing is. Let me tell you about Boston. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I was going to say the thing about the north is. Uh, mm. th- oh, Jasmine. I'll follow like, up oh. with the thing about the south is. No, <laughs> um, the thing about the north is you don't know what. Uh, I mean, you can't explore yourself completely if you only stay in the north. Not to say you can live in the north, fine, mm-hmm. but you gotta travel. Oh yes. You gotta travel around because there might be areas of this country that mm-hmm. suit you better. Very true. I think Central Florida suits me pretty good. I like it, but I like having like living in five different places at once. Right. So. For example, <laughs> Angela, she's a Boston girl, but she mm-hmm. digs Georgia. Yeah. Is there anyone here that feels out of place? I so I felt very out of place in Kansas City. Oh, I yeah, I feel kind of out of place in the Midwest. Right. So what I'm what I'm thinking is that your quality of life could be better depending on the type of person you are. There are That's some people true. that are really really happy and they live in Colorado Springs. Well, some people just stay at home all the time and they don't care where they live. Well, you know, it doesn't maybe it doesn't even matter same. anymore. For yeah. people that go outside every now and then, there you go. But Colorado Springs, for example, is a pretty cool city mm-hmm. in Colorado. We probably have some people in Colorado Springs. Here. I've been there, but not spent any time there. You got there for superstars, right? That yes. Yep. Hockey says seen forty-five of the fifty states lived in ten states. Wow. Well, see, you have a you have a nice medley, but you feel you feel comfortable in Wisconsin. I never know because I've never been to Wisconsin. What? Are yeah. We tried to get to Wisconsin. We, we, um, please, we, but not let us. There is a little Twice. town, yeah. uh, Lena, Lena? In Illinois, and it's so close to Wisconsin. Lena, Illinois, man. What's that? It's my Lena. It's art. 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 Oh, this you want to? my pocket can, knife. Oh, I got to tell. I a pocket knife. Okay, so there's a story about yeah. art. Okay, so that's funny that you show art. Yeah, well, I use it to open <laughs> paint cans. Hockey is, not, <laughs> hockey is not happy in uh, Wisconsin. Oh. I'm a Birmingham girl. I uh, see, uh, but Phil. Birmingham, England, oh, or Bur- Alabama. Okay, so it's funny, Leela. I I read Birmingham, and I thought of Alabama, Alabama? Uh-uh. because I didn't Bur- read your name first. But yeah, um, same thing. Same thing goes in the UK. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. Hate the winter. You got to get out, hockey. But some people love the winter, and I kind of almost envy those people. Brandon goes on about loving the winter. He and- doesn't go outside much. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Brandon's gonna like what? It's gonna screw room. up his his outdoor man image. <laughs> so, I, uh, I did not like the winter either. I would say that weather would be my number one reason to live in the south. Me too. Actually, when um, I was a teenager and planning where I wanted to live when I was older, I was basically like, I want to be somewhere warm, and that was my main thing. Oh, Leela, I know you're from the UK. You don't have to be sorry. <laughs> L- Maddie, uh, listen to what you just said. You're from the UK and you don't have to be sorry. Uh, have you known somebody from the UK who did not say who, they're sorry Who are to more sorry, constantly? Canadians yeah. or the UK people? 
Canadians are sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. There's a lake across the street from you and more people fishing it in the winter than any other season. Is it ice wow. fishing? Wow. Yep. Wisconsin. Oh. Trying to keep the peace. Oh, Leela, you are such a... Uh, you are such a... Uh, you've already... I don't know. You... You'd have, I, you'd to, have do to do something, something really horrible, really bad on yeah. purpose to make it. Yeah, mad. I don't think I don't. Lilo would have to, have to like come have smack really my bad. cat or something to make me mad. It'd have to be bad. I mean, you could smack me and I'd be all right with it. Yeah, I mean, I, there, you'd probably be in the right. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So you're good. Doctor Simba says looking for a summer home in Florida. Ooh, nice. nice. Well, gosh, um, it's a bigger state than it seems. We have more coastline than any other continental. Uh, state, Definitely. I believe. Well, especially the capital of the island. But I think Alaska would win. Alaska. Well, uh, obviously, it's and not then continental. And Hawaii, of course, is islands. And islands will um, well, skew your idea of how much. Right. We, and we have we islands have. as well. But oh, we don't yeah. have any Aleutian crazy islands. We do Hawaii not. has a tremendous amount of coast for being tiny. Canadians oh. are so polite, it's sickening, says hockey. Yeah. He's a Wisconsin guy. Oh. He knows. No oh. kitty harm. That's what I'm saying. It would it would take something like that. <laughs> Sunshine, you want to be on TV? Where are you at, baby? I don't like the cold, Sunshine. but I don't like the heat either, says Crispy. Well, you, that, you're actually in a pretty good state then up there, Chris, Crispy. Uh, Washington's good for that. It doesn't get too uh, wacky cold up there, right? Where, Washington? They get snow sometimes. Yeah, but it's not... Not awful. Much. It's, no, it's, it's, it's actually the closest cold. to the UK weather, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. See, yeah. Anyways, look who came wanted to be on TV without asking. Oh my gosh, Leela. See? You were t we're talking to Leela and Sunshine. And Angela says no kitty and harm. Baby. See, she wanted to say hi to you guys. Baby. My baby. You want to be good? You're being a good girl today, huh? She's being a good girl today. Well, actually. Sunshine um, is, was very happy. Uh, I oh, brought. Shit, I did. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I brought. Uh, Go ahead. Oh, you got some scratches. Scratches. Yeah, I'll, you're fine. Oh, okay. It's nothing. Uh, I need to. Need Sunshine to was very happy. I uh, brought uh, Jasmine. I'm, oh, gosh, I almost said her mommy. I brought Jasmine. <laughs> I'm not her mommy. Yeah, we're, we're, mommy, the, we're those people. Yeah. Um, Kinda. Uh, do you do you have any more of those uh, fruits? Mm, uh, yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll get it. Right. Yeah, bring it, Sunshine. <laughs> So Sunshine's been on on it. Can they hear you? Well, You're not talking in a mic. Oh, they can still hear me. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought that if we walked away, they couldn't hear me. Oh, that, it's, it's just Oops. Like, it sounds <laughs> awful and echoey. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, they can hear me. So, <coughs> tell everyone what this fruit is. The loquat? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. This is in front of um, our house in Rainy, Florida, where our the Strangeling offices are across town. There is a loquat tree. Loquats are... Japanese are they're sometimes called uh -huh. Asian plums. They're like a yellow plum that is uh, a Japonica. Uh, it's from Japan, right? J Japanese yellow plums? I don't know. I think the Latin word has Japonica in it. But um, Sunshine, Matt brought them to me because I like to eat them and they are very good. But Sunshine likes to eat the leaves. So we'll put them in a vase like in the kitchen and Sunshine gets up on the counter and she just tears them up. I don't think they're poisonous. The, the fruits aren't. I love Buttercup them. loves that fruit. Yeah, loquats are great, and they, millions of them come, and that, it's like the tree was already there when we bought now, it. Now, don't so. confuse it with a kumquat. No, they're not kumquats. These are not kumquats. These are loquats. They're not actually related at all to kumquats. Kumquats are a type of citrus. Yeah, this is like not citrus. These, this is a plum. Jasmine, uh, are you oh. able to, yeah, yeah. and show oh, the yeah. big crazy pit inside? They don't have a big crazy pit. They have a whole bunch of small pits. Tigger wants to know what they taste like. They taste kind of like a yellow plum. Hey, if I remember, I'll bring you some. See, so they're not a commercial fruit because they are filled with horrible pits. We we would seeds. have we would have to. It's like ninety percent seeds. We'd have to uh, breed them until they were normal. But yeah. Well, I, there are already enough plums. That we have are, a tree that's teeming dang, with them right now. Yeah. All right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a napkin? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be right back. Here. Now let me TV. Sunshine, it's me. Doctor Simba says he sees. Oh, <laughs> can you take? Yes. Yeah. He says he sees. Here, actually, I need to wash my hands too. Yeah, of course. 
I'm gonna plant lump, uh, love clots in my studio. That's a lot of seed. Yeah, no, it was just. Oh, oh, oh I, shit. Sorry. Oh, yeah, you gotta make a tr sound trombone noise out of me. Uh, okay. Mm. I got those. <laughs> you want those sunshine? Yeah. Naughty kitty. Yes, she does. Sunshine loves her yellow phone. Ah. Oh, you got your nitro there? Okay, I'm back. But yeah, those mm. are those are a weird fruit. Yes, they are. I like them. I did not know much about. I always thought they just lived in. They grew in Asia before I moved here to Florida, and there was one in the head. But yeah, what, you don't what ever did, see uh, those so, at stores. Uh, Tigger's asking what they taste like. Did you uh, answer that question? They taste like a, a, a sweet yellow plum, but they aren't as juicy as a plum, I think, because they are more dense, because instead of having a single pit inside, they have four to five of the dicot things. But... Okay, so uh, Keentra says, until like a couple weeks ago, we were below freezing, and every day for over a month. Eastern Washington gets cold and lots of snow. You know, oh, yes, I, Eastern Washington. It needs to. It needs to stop. It's spring, okay? <laughs> it's not spring, actually. Yeah, we, we did the we did the hour thing. We did the spring forward. We did the Brett has it yet. We did spring <laughs> forward. It's called spring forward. It is called. It is not. It is called daylight saving. It's <laughs> called spring forward. That's the only. I don't even remember it right. You don't acknowledge daylight saving. I, I acknowledge it fine. I'm not. I'm not a denier. You're false. You're not a denier. Not a You're deni not a daylight denier. I'm oh not a daylight God. denier. Well, I but, find solidarity no, with the daylight community. So I yeah. always would. I was like spring forward, <laughs> yeah. fall back. Yeah, that's what you do. But then I said spring back, fall forward. I could never because I've done that before. You fall forward? Yes. Oh, I guess I do too. I'm faint. I, you know, I, I kind of, you know, for to entertain the children, I, I do the whole uh, Swedish fall. I don't know what that is. You didn't have to do it like in gym class. When you 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 are standing up, yeah. and you end up in a plank position by falling ninety degrees. Oh, I, I do that for fun flat. sometimes. What is it? I do that for fun sometimes. But no, you have to catch yourself on your forearms on a mat. Oh no, I, okay. I do the uh, I do the fall forward thing. I do a, a Willy Wonka. Oh, that's a good for the one. children. You do a, 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 a somersault too. Absolutely. Every time. And then they then the children uh. Crawl yeah, around me and, walk away. <laughs> and beat me senseless. Oh, yes, they do. Children always beat you senseless. First day of spring is the twentieth. Pa! It was a Sunday or Saturday or whatever that was. So okay, what? so Jasmine and I both woke up. Oh, what? <laughs> we, we didn't I didn't know. remember. We didn't know, and I didn't know until I came back from. I, I again, I usually jog in the mornings. I go out on a stack, and usually it's perfectly timed. So when I come back, the sun's coming up. It's lovely. But um, I was coming back, and the sun didn't come up, and I was, like, getting kind of bothered by it. And no, usually when imagine it's dark, that you, you tighten your fist, look to the sky, and said, <laughs> finally. Like, not today. Not today. <laughs> no. But um, I I actually looked at my HWN.org to see if there was a, a, hor a, st a storm, like a hurricane coming or something, because that whenever the sky is that dark and it is still morning, that usually means there's a storm. Or, but no. Daylight savings time. I don't know why I, my brain didn't go to that first. So Jeanette has daffodils out. Oh, nice. Early pink trees are starting to, to pink. The cherry ones haven't started yet. Oh, oh I bet crocuses Is your mom doing there. her, um, but what, what she, she's got the, uh, tulips. Oh, yeah, those, uh, any Has your mom, mom had any well, pictures of those yet? I have not seen her post any. I, did she put bulbs out? Well, she's got returning bulbs, I think, in the phone. I don't know what she's got. I haven't been there forever. I was gonna say, I haven't been to Kansas uh, City. Since. I've... Did they ever clean out our fridge? <laughs> Do we have two-year-old fridge stuff we in the might. in the fr fridge? We might. I know I've got some two-year-old painting stuff waiting for me in England, but yeah. My word. You pro you've probably gotten too good. You you're probably like leveled in painting. It's probably thinking. probably yeah. paint better than that now. Probably. But I, I think they're my. I I never told them specifically. Hey, mm -hmm. go clean out our fridge. You know. Now I'm thinking we I, should just not open it and throw the whole thing away. I, I, my mom might have cleaned it out when she was she was on there like turning the faucets on to make sure the pipes didn't freeze. And I remember when the pandemic was first starting and everybody was like hoarding food or <laughs> and like canned goods and things. And I and I have a tremendous amount of canned goods and dry storage pantry things at the Kansas City house. So I was told everybody there 
I'm not going to be there. I'm going to be in Florida. We can't leave the state. So if anybody wants a whole bunch of free groceries, knock yourself out. Because I'm not going to be eating them. So I don't know if anybody took advantage of that. Or if everything's still there. Pineapple princess, aloha. Aloha. I drank a pineapple drink earlier. You did? Pineapple and mango, was it? Pineapple mango. Wait, no. Pine was pineapple it not peach. Pineapple and peach. It yeah. was a kombucha. Oh, I still have it. <laughs> You know what I've been doing, Jasmine, is kombucha is always on our, our grocery list. Yeah. Uh, and Publix, when we talked about our grocery stores last Twitch, Yeah. Publix always has some sort of, like, deal oh, on one of their five different types of Kombucha. kombuchas. And my, my goal is to, like... They're all good. <laughs> my goal is to, like, drink them all. But you, in the end, liked the mother, mother kombuchas the, the best, right? Oh, and I, I like in the end, I like the... Well, hum. I, I like the mother ones because they have unusual flavors. They have one that's called lavender mojito. It is not a mojito. It does not have rum in it. But no, none it, of this is alcohol, like real. That. I mean, no, no. They might, actually, does this one? It's a, got that live probiotic stuff, and it might have like all the ones that they sell at Publix brewed. are certified non-alcoholic. Okay. Because uh, there are weird rules this involving one, kombucha. This one is um, called Cavita. Yeah. Well, Kavita makes a handful of them. Some of them are um, actually apple cider vinegar tonics, and some of them are the right. fortified kombuchas that they add the probiotic cultures to afterwards, like after they brewed it. But they brew it with green tea and black tea together. So that that's that's what Sorry. I that's what I do as a. What do you you don't even call that? A, I don't even call that a hobby. What is that where you you do something mm -hmm. in your spare time, like trying all the kombuchas? What? How would you describe it's that in a, a word? Mini a mini quest? Yes. No, I don't. Okay. I went on a mini quest. But the thing is, that sounds too quick. This is ongoing. Uh, uh, life's passion? <laughs> life's passion. Could be. Hockey has never heard of kombucha. Actually, we've uh, we've uh, told a lot of people about kombucha. You know, I think it's uh, hockey. It's one of the... We're, Jasmine and I are like vegetarian. I'm a health nut. Healthy people. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's we, we drink weird that... stuff. Other we don't expect other people to. I could to. understand a lot of people not liking the Side quest. Yeah, mini quest. Side That's quest. a good one, hockey. Side, side yeah. quest is good. I was going to say side hustle, but that just sounds... <laughs> I just didn't know how to Side hustle. Yeah, it's like, hey, I, I got a little side hustle here. It's like, you know, a little... It's like I'm cheating on uh, Jasmine with a kombucha. Yeah. A little side hustle. A little job here. Stretching canvas for the kombucha. Exactly. Making a little, little money. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, so I, I I tried the different kombuchas. You know, it, it's Which fun. One was your it's favorite? hum. Hum. H u m m hum. H u. What, what, was there? Do you like that blueberry one? Oh yeah, that's the best one. That is good. I like the blueberry one. It's good. It I think because I'm a dumb little kid, uh -huh. and it tastes the most like soda pop. <laughs> oh okay. See, I like the ones that are not sugary, like the mint, the lavender flavored ones, or the weird flower flavored ones, or the herbal ones. Lemon, there's a lemongrass one. I've been accused of being a pusher. Oh. I'm pushing. I'm I'm, sell, I'm selling the good stuff on the streets. You can be the pusher. So I'll this be the has been husband. fermented for like like six months. This is this is good stuff, bro. Look, yeah. Primo, primo stuff mm -hmm. straight from uh, uh, California. <laughs> I. I Oh, what is it? Where is this from? You know, one of the first times I heard about kombucha was in the context of LA. Oh, Los Angeles Times was, or LA Weekly was talking about how some places were trying to outlaw it because the natural fermentation. It is in California. Yeah, the natural. A lot of it is, and the natural fermentation of it creates a minor amount of alcohol, like point zero something percent. It would not be enough for anybody who knows if they had a million of them. But legally in California, they have to certify them as alcohol free if they're going to sell them at a regular grocery store. Gotcha. Stuff. Yeah. This so that's is why from I know Oxnard, that Jasmine. What's that? Oxnard. Oxnard! Like Hamtaro! Oh, yeah, Hamtaro. Oxnard was my favorite little guy. Ox because of his name? Yeah, I, I I, shouldn't know. No, no, not because of his name, because he's grumpy. Because he's grumpy. Yeah, I like that. Little too. Oxnard, he, I don't know if anyone in this room has watched Any Hamtaro fans out there? And Jasmine we always like said, the scary get one. 100 on your test. Or do your very best. I'm I, all, all of your dreams. All so. of my dreams will come yep. true. I think that everything. Ham Taro. Little ham hams. It's just for you. It's a anime about hamsters. Hamsters. That have secret lives. It's basically. <laughs> I, I'd say it's basically like Toy Story, but hamsters instead of toys. But that is 
way You know what it reminds it. me of? <laughs> it reminds me, if anyone here has seen, um, uh, gosh, what, no, what's the, what's the, uh, what's the not Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty? Uh, what? I can't remember. Uh, eight episodes, the people that lived in the wall. Polar opposites. Polar, solar opposites. Solar opposites. <laughs> solar opposites. There's these people that live in the wall. Hamtaro kind of reminds me of that. Yes, but for small children, this is not a, <laughs> uh, yeah, this yeah. is not a, a show that grown-ups really the, would watch. It's called The Brewery? Uh, like The Katie? Bridge in German? Brew cur- I thought you just, it's like Drew Carey? Brew Carey? I, I don't know. The, uh, the... Who's saying this? <laughs> Why are you making Katie this? Katie's singing this. Oh, okay. She's singing okay. the kombucha in Kansas City at, oh. the, at the Drew Carey. <laughs> That is almost a sentence, but... Um, oh, no, hockey, do not watch Tom Taro. You know what? I like in Kansas City at the Overland Park Weekly Farmer's Market, which is probably not happening because of COVID or something, but when it is happening there, there is a place that makes wonderful kombucha, and you can bring a gallon jug, and they'll fill it up for you, like, on tap, and you can bring your gallon jug back home. <laughs> you need a gallon of kombucha. I have a you gallon. You know you've got a problem. I have a gallon a glass gallon jug that we have done that with hey what's that cute yeah. what what cute little uh it was uh something i used to get in a jug and it was a sort of Is kind of mississippi mud alligator beer that's it i knew it. and it reminded me of um uh the irish beer guinness now. guinness yes yes i know my bevies yeah a brewery but with kombucha so it's brew Oh Brewery. yes, hard kombucha. Yeah, there is hard kombucha. Oh, this is, is not hard. That is, I, it's my, brewed like yeah, I'm beer. trying not. I'm trying yeah. not. I, no, I'm not after necessarily the hard. Uh, oh kombucha. no, if I want uh, booze, I'll just drink. But wine. you know, it could be. It could be very low. <laughs> yeah. What's that? It could be very low. Yeah, yeah. I, there is. Um, oh, it, it, well, I mean, how? What, what is like? I've had the um, white claws. What? How, what percentage of alcohol are those? They can't have. Them. I don't know. White like claws. No white claws are for skinny little girls. Shut up. And hipsters. Shh. Eh, I'm not a hipster. <laughs> I won't take Mississippi that mud is good. It is good. I had, uh, and then you get the funny little. And then you get you the funny like, jug with the alligator yeah, on it. You feel, you feel like, like a cool I'm hillbilly. Just a, huh? You feel like you're a old hillbilly. Except swamp stone hills. Swamp. Swamp. swamp hillbilly. Swamp billy. Squid billy. Squid billy. That's a good cartoon. That's kind of like Humtaro about the octopuses. That is not for children. That's how they pitched it. <laughs> <laughs> they carry both kinds of kombucha. All of it's pretty good. Okay, Katie, I'll, oh, I'll awesome. totally check it out. You, you know, know um, We're going to actually have to go to some of these places when we eventually okay. get to Kansas City again. Okay, so here's how here's how up. much I, yeah. I've... And Jasmine actually was there before me, I feel. Because she was like, I miss Kansas City. I'm uh-huh. like, I don't. <laughs> I don't miss it. But I, miss I some... think it's when the warm... when it. I think probably in February, I was like, you know what would be fun? What I would actually not mind? Going to Worlds of Fun. Now, Worlds in of Fun. February? Not in February, just in general. Oh. I was reminded of it. It's probably some sort of smell in the air reminded me of Were Worlds of Fun. Were people pouring asphalt on the road? Maybe. Because that is what that smell, smells yeah. like to me because they're always redoing the surface pavement. So, yeah, you get the small jug, right, Hockey? That, that jug yes, is awesome. Yes, you get the jug. Oh, yeah, we've got um, one minute to raffle. Oh, oh, okay. And that's the print. And this yes. is also the print of the week up at strangeling.com, so it's oh. on sale right now. Here we go. It's about to do its little funny thing. And Luis and Artemisia. And again. Woo. Living on Moss. Ooh. I want to see the arch. Oh, uh, St. Louis Arch? That's St. Louis Arch is actually oh, it's quite, it. quite uh, the spec. It's uh, kind of amazing looking. It is. It is a it is a spectacle of modernity. Kimberly U. Kimberly U. That is a, is that a, like a college? Is it like Kimberly Rue? No. <laughs> I go to Kimberly U. All right. Well, hi, Kimberly U. I didn't I see will... you chatting in the room, but I'm oh, so happy that yeah, you got this. I, I will autograph You got that beautiful print, and I'm going to put some instructions in the room for you right now. you after you let Matt know your address, and... We'll get this in the mail. There you go. I um. And if you didn't win, you can buy them at strangelang.com. They're on sale this week. Congratulations. And everyone, when somebody, uh, 
when somebody comes in the room and says, I wasn't here, who won? Who won the raffle? You Kimberly guys say, you. Kimberly, you. Because I'm not gonna. Matt refuses to. It's just, I just, You're like, just who like, won? And I'm no like, more. okay, give me a second, I'll have to go. No, it's like, no, if you, uh, you won, you would have known it. You would have. I graduated from Wasamati U. Oh. He did not. He dropped out halfway through. <laughs> it's true. What's the matter me? What's the matter me? I totally... I, I went to community college and, and dropped out. That was before I knew. Enough of that. Matt's drawing a line me, in the sand. That's out. right, buddies. It's like, no. If you, 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 you guys can say, did I win? That's okay. But saying... Who won is like research. I gotta go back it's a like, page. That's basically I gotta look. It's homework at, at that point. Yeah, it's and homework. You're not, you know. Oh, I gotta start the other raffle. Crap! <gasps> crap! Oh, well, and who's it? For? It's for the pins. I'm a who's, trapeze who's, wait, artist. Wait, wait, what, is, what month is this? Okay. Zom my zombie. It's kitty. My zombie. Oh, I, I should show. I finished the painting too. I don't think I've showed it to anybody. Well, rock on. We'll show that. Too. I haven't even like scanned it in to make. Prints yet, even. <laughs> yeah, we we we've been busy, dudes. Been so busy. And and uh. But yeah, our next prize will be the um. Well, it will be a nice one in a package, not a painting one. But this it's um uh, my zombie kitty, which is, of course, one of the paintings that. Hell, I was doing that last. last and I, I think pitch, I think right? our zombie kitty will always be mama. But yeah. Where my dear mama, what you looking for? The original of it. Oh, it's over on my big easel. Can oh. you grab it for me? Yeah, sure. You scared me. No, uh, well, Rio's Rio right here. Oh, Zombie okay. Kitty. All right. No, no, no. I, I I thought maybe you thought I was looking at Cat again, but no. But Rio is right there, so beware. Oh. She's yeah. under my ergonomic chair. Really? Yes. You see, I see oh her spotted gosh, little bum. So I know. She looks like a little Aww. forest creature. Uh, That's not usual for her. I. She has been by. Oh, well, she just told me everything. Yes, I know. I remember how I was telling you how she's been starting to sit next to me when I paint? She's our scaredy cat. She's one of our feral rescues. And she's... Okay. Yeah, Dr. Sima yeah. says he sees his cat about as much as he sees his teenage <laughs> daughter. <laughs> I guess, well, Rio is a, is a teenager, isn't she? Yeah, literally, she? sadly. Gosh. I want her to be a kitten. Oh, always. my kitten. But anyways, here's the Zombie Kitty. This is the one I was painting um, last time on Fetch. And I'll finish. Somebody bought this one already. Yeah. The original. Okay. But um, do we have uh, canvases? We have still. We still have canvases. Yeah. Yep, we yep, have yep, canvases. Yep. <laughs> we still have canvases. A few people have nabbed them, but yeah, keep okay. keep sending the emails. Yes. Keep, if you if you always if always oh, keep sending. Yeah. Always send always even, even if, if we say it's sold, sold out, out because sometimes people are like, oh, my emails. car broke down or and I don't like I don't I hate I decide I hate kitty cats I don't right want now um if if I get uh, if, oh go ahead you're still oh, talking about zombie kitty oh I was just gonna say yeah this is the original we'll get the prints um I'll scan in the painting and um we'll make prints of it this will be up at strangeling.com probably in the next week. Uh, probably by next time we do Twitch. Oh, let me take that back from you. I don't Thanks. Want to now I'm going to add some more cat skeletons. <laughs> but that's something. Did I have the cat skeletons in it last time? I don't remember. You don't remember. <laughs> well, there's some cat skeletons. I remember skeletons. you texted oh. me and said you're finished. Oh. And it was beautiful. Yeah, it is. But we, we will be doing um, five of the big um, 16 by 20 canvases, and I will be hand embellishing each one in acrylic paint, signing and yes. numbered, ready to hang on your wall, don't need to frame them. And yeah, we, we are putting together a better, more streamlined, if I ever get that set up, streamlined system with the canvases. Yes. Well, when I get those two workstations put over in that corner, that well, I was talking be... about as far as like when people want to reserve it. Oh, I thought you meant for me embellishing. No. Yeah. Wow, well, I've got to wonder. About that, it's like it's not about painting. <laughs> oh, come on. oh gosh. Heavens to Betsy, it feels good to sit down. Uh, isn't just sitting down. I like saying things like heavens to yeah. Betsy. Huh. Hey, do you say anything that's kind of antiquated? All the time. Like an antiquated term. Constantly. What what, what would you? What do you say on a, a... Do I say heavens to Betsy enough that you would say I say... You say it a lot. Uh, regular... I say heavens I say to Betsy. good heavens a lot, which is kind of antiquated. I say... I have a lot of replacements for interjections and swear words because I often am in places I'm not supposed to be swearing. I say so dag nabbit. I'll say gosh golly gee and things like that, which are not my natural swear words, but I've gotten used to saying it so much. I'll be like, oh golly! Holy cow! And 
I just sound like a Dennis the Menace character or something? I don't know. I I often say a term um, that Which rhymes term? with um. It's a bad bad word. Oh, I won't say it on here. It um. It rhymes with duck, but it's it's like saying duck a duck. Mm-hmm. You do say that. Pluck a duck. <laughs> Yeah, I say that. that a lot. I say that when I'm alone. I think my phone said that my most commonly used word was ducking. <laughs> no. Oh, hockey, see you later. Hi, I, I hope you win the pin. Yes. Oh, g- g- it, please let someone else have it. Oh, oh uh, I I think there's a way to I redo think there's it. A way you can re It'll post yeah. it again, I think. Yeah. Um, if you do win it, I will let people know. But yeah. you have a fantastic day, and thank you for have visiting with time. us. Thank you. And telling us about your survival adventures. Yes, we know who to call now. I say fiddle fart or fudge nuggets. Okay. That's good. I say fudruckers. Fudrucker. No. Fudrucker is... <laughs> it's a hamburger restaurant. Okay, fudruckers is... Uh, I remember that was... Uh, th- that was kind of an event... Burgers. We used to go there up in Iowa before we found out about Zombie Burger. Ah, uh, Zombie Burger, though. Zombie Burger Oh, has, dude, does anyone here from Iowa knows about Zombie patties. Burger? It's great. Yeah, they've got, you can, they have like two or three different types of veggie burger patties, and then you can turn them into like anything. You can put like a whole fried, you can make like the edges of it, like the bread out of donuts or grilled cheese sandwiches or like crazy, crazy stuff. So Le- Leela has a- about once a year. Yeah. Leela has a question. Mm. Uh, and and, and it kind of goes without saying, I think. Um, Leela says, I have a question. If the state of things change in terms of travel, will you and Jasmine do any international events? Like, yeah, as soon as we can. As soon as they will let me. With bated breath. We, yep. we, uh, we would Tired be there. Tired of this country and want to get out. No, just kidding. I say mother of hell. That's a good, good one, one, Scarlet. I'm going to take that. I'm going to use that. And Scarlet's like a, a cool young person. Ooh, is that what the kids are saying now? That's what the ki- cool kids the are cool saying. Kids. Okay. Mother of mother hell. Of hell. You said like mother of hell, grant me your blessings. I was gonna say that sounds yeah. Sounds and, 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 that, and that's supposed to be that's, that's like the kidding. light version, right? All right. That's the cleaned up version. I like it when I like it when like elderly people will say, they'll you know I'll do something I'll look at me, like, mercy. Oh mercy. <laughs> oh mercy. Like uh, it's well, it's hurting Larry. them a little. But in a cute way, in a cute old person way. Well, I, I would say Larry often, like, if he stubs his toe, he's like, God bless it. Because he's trying not to say, God damn it, or whatever. Ah! Uh, right. What? Is that not Cassie? Or that's wait? the Lord's name. Oh, okay. And it is a Sabbath. On it's not days. the Sabbath. <laughs> it's not the Sabbath. <laughs> whatever, Adventist. No. It's, that's, it's not the Sabbath, and it wouldn't be the Sabbath if it was Oh! Sunday. I got my schoolings. Yeah, you do. I got my schoolings. You do. Sunday jail. <laughs> yes. Hey, I would, I'd say I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, but that's a lot. I mean, I'd, I'd trade the a lot of things. The world's a big place. Yeah, it I, has so much stuff. Heavens to Betsy. <laughs> Heavens to Murgatroyd. Does anybody say Heavens that anymore? Heavens to Murgatroyd. It wasn't it only the the Snagglepuss that said that. Oh, was I it, see. Was it around before that? What is Murgatroyd? Murgatroyd isn't that a cleaned up version of Purgatory? Murgatroyd? I, yes, in the way that it's like a cross between. In the way that Golly is like. God like that and hemorrhoids or something. <laughs> What's that? It's like a cross between that and hemorrhoids. Maybe I'm confusing it. It's not nothing to do with mercury, I don't think. <laughs> Mary Kay says Jasmine is the cutest at not swearing. <laughs> Gosh golly. Gosh I golly gee. Mickey Mouse. Yeah. It's like she's a little rascal. She was like am. Darlene, the little rascal. Does anyone I even am. know little rascals anymore? I do. Do they need a uh, oh, my Lanta? Dubious. My niece says, "Oh my Lanta." Oh my Lanta. Is, That's is, great. Isn't my Lanta the stuff that uh, stops that, stops the uh, ouchy belly? Yes, I think it's a, it's a medication to you. It, uh, it controls stomach acid. <laughs> Star, this is funny, Jasmine. Huh? Starwin BC says, "I used to work with a guy who would say son of a, and everyone else would fill in the blank. Son of a preacher man." <laughs> Son of a gun, I had. To, there were kids in the store usually. Son of, Son a, of a, preacher. a preacher, man. Like Annie Lennox. Sorry, no, not Annie Lennox. No, uh. That's the other, that's the other song, sorry. The only man that could ever reach me was the son of a preacher, man. I think a mission yes, man. Was. 
Wolves, Wolves. Yes, I know that song. No, but uh, the Annie Lennox song's amazing. Yeah, that is. I love Annie Lennox. She's a great person. How do we get in the raffle for the pin? Sorry, I missed that part. <laughs> well, Zemis, uh, there's really you easy. type in I I um just do like me. You type in uh, exclamation. exclamation point. Oh, okay. Uh, look at Angela's uh, comment. Exclamation there. point raffle, all one yep. word. Yep. No you could even sense. copy it from what Angela said if, if you have the if you're at a raffle. There you and go. I think you do have to be a follower of or the wait. channel for it to count. Yeah, to it, access your name or whatever. Right. I just set it up that way. Okay. I just thought it would be polite to us. Yeah. I like sometimes it's I like free. being polite. You don't polite have to, to us. subscribe or anything. Just put the follow. That way we know how to contact you. I have you to be also. pro us, Jasmine. That's very thoughtful of you, Mike. It is thoughtful. The only man that could ever reach me was a son of a preacher man. But you're thinking a missionary man. I was going to say, it's a son of a missionary, missionary man. man. Don't mess with a missionary man. <laughs> I was born an original sinner. Yeah, that's Yeah, that's a that's great song. Rocks. I'm surprised nobody's covered that, or if they have, I haven't heard it. My favorite Annie Lennox song is... Love, uh, love song for a vampire from Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yes, that is a good too song. cool. Lula. That's a good movie. That's a great movie. You know, people people movie. really give it to poor uh, Winona Ryder. They make fun of her British accent in that. I thought she did all right. Is she British? What is she Sorry, still don't understand how to enter the raffle. In Exclamation the in the yeah. raffle! It, you're you're just saying the same word over and over again. In the chat room, you would type a phrase: exclamation point raffle. Exclamation point, hit on your keyboard or your phone in the chat room, R-A-F-F-L-E, enter. And then it will enter. And I've also typed it for you. Mm-hmm. Exclamation, exclamation raffle. Exclamation point. Stop just saying exclamation. That's weird. Raffle. <laughs> like just saying question. It's not question weird. Do you just say question instead of question mark? Yes. <laughs> no, you don't. You're a liar. <laughs> I'm like a kangaroo. You're like a kangaroo, all of them. Yeah. All these kangaroos are lies. I am. Thank you, Steam. Oh, I see. You're, you're, uh, yes. Yes, so, um, Streamlabs. Oh, oh, you're, you're thinking Streamlabs. Yes. They are the uh, bot that helps out the room and manages things like raffles and stuff, yeah. so I don't have to. They're the only person at the Strangeling team that, if you think, it means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't know, Mubi. I remember when Mubi used to get bizarre love. Sort of idea about like, hey, my thingy's not lighting up. Oh, okay, I'll fix it. You guys can see. Ooh, look, there's Anise and Artemisia, and then there's Pin of them up, and back to Jasmine at the broadcast. There you go. I do that. It kind of refreshes the screen. Oh, okay. So it, it's the that easiest way, way to do it. And that way the camera works again. Yes. I used to go into the uh, the program itself and refresh it that way. Mm-hmm. And it was... No. This is... Oh, okay. Way better. <laughs> Whatever is easier. I don't know how that works. Craftably has a bunch of new ones up for pre-order yes, coming out. Yes, Yay! I just saw that today. Craftably has new ones. Also, Diamond Painting Club has a second one up now. Oh, wow. <laughs> creep, creep, creep. You know what? I looked at them now. They've got zillions of reviews all good i have on those specific like even more reviews than the other ones you know so um it must I be popular i don't know i uh i was at the post office but it was a quick drop off yeah. i did not check the peel i haven't checked the peel box for a few days oh, so i'm wondering i'm wondering if the diamond paintings are in there we could make that plan please yeah Moobot likes the lotion yes leela <laughs> <laughs> you knucklehead i love that movie so much though so i can never complain you can never quote it enough okay elizabeth says what there is a there is a second place. I love my craftably. Yeah, there is a um a, the other place that licenses my things diamond for art diamond painting club. is called Diamond 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 Art Club Diamond Club Diamond Club Diamond Club Diamond Club, diamond club? I'm sorry Diamond Art Club I don't want to say it wrong yes people, DAC DAC yeah down, down with, with DAC yeah well I uh, okay D-A-C. DAC may be a thing but craftably that's like. I've talked to the guy. It's like a guy, you know, yeah, with I know. his wife, and he has a little business. <laughs> of course. I, I think I like that he's being supported. I do too. Um, so I don't also, know. Also, they choose a wider variety. DAC but... might be a big crappy or a, a big amazing company. I didn't mean to say that. A, a big amazing company is what I meant to say. Okay. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> what, what, but the, the, uh, what, I don't know if it has a face. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I didn't actually. But craftable. Michael is a craftable. Yes, Michael. Michael. Oh, yeah. He's great. Craftably people are super nice. 
Yeah, they're lovely. I don't. The, the thing is, the other place seems like a uh, an organization. Oh. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, again, this is the uh, brokerage or licensing agent. So I don't DAC know has fifteen percent off at the moment. Nice. They have. T they only have two pictures that I think that I've seen up there. One was Angel de los Muertos, and one was the original Valentine Masquerade. I thought those were. Okay. Really yeah. Nice DAC too. is a big business. As, yeah, it's as, a big company. That's what. That's what I meant to say. Yes. That's what. Yeah. It's like buying something from a mom and pop instead of like a Walmart or whatever. What did I say? No, it was me. I, I I was trying I was also saying that plus craftably it, it came out really weird. Okay. I'll edit that out later. No. I'll fix it in post. I'll fix it in post. Okay. I'll also make Jasmine like like add horns to Jasmine and they'll grow throughout the episode. Yeah. And the, first they'll be like little half inch horns. That is. And then they'll slowly grow into full way. nine inch horns and she'll be like a seventeen point buck or however that works. You count the tips on their antlers. What's a good one? Well, the longer, what's, what's the big one? Well, the thing is, Maddie, the longer, the more seasons a deer lives, their antlers get bigger. So the, the more nooks and crannies in it, and the more ends that are on it, that's yeah. what they're counting. So, so that so, means it's a bigger if it has. What's like a, the what's the biggest one? I don't I don't know what the, the uh, I'm thinking of like in Pleistocene there are some that were magnificent. I mean some of them were uh, 14 feet high and stuff. But I, as far as like animals that are alive now, I don't know. Well, if maybe I only if, know things from 120 million years ago, Manny. <laughs> <laughs> That's history. It's antiquated. No. Heavens to Betsy. <laughs> Murgatroyd. Somebody needs to look up Murgatroyd. No, that's Murga gonna bother me. I don't want to look it up. I didn't say you. Yay! Somebody who could spell it. Well, somebody said they loved it when I sing. Aww. Thank you. I love it when I sing that's too. How most people know him. Hmm? I love it when I sing too. Uh, you like it when I sing? I like it when you sing too. Yes, you. You, you actually, I do love it when you sing. Aww. We should do a little duet. We should. I don't know. What song do we know together? I know all songs. You know, but remember that? Didn't that person, like, sing happy birthday to their... Is that an urban legend that someone sung happy birthday to their uncle on Zoom or something and they got sued? Yes. <laughs> I can think of probably what? a dozen true stories that are like that with the song happy birthday. That is, is crazy. I, that makes me hate people. That is why every restaurant you've ever been to has the stupidest made-up songs about birthdays that are not happy birthday because they're a place of business and that is copyrighted song. So if you are remember, a Rainforest you remember, Cafe, they've got Do you remember sing. Rainforest? I always... Happy, happy birthday e from all of us to you. I always we, exited myself we from We dished up something special. We made it just for you. They're clever. They rhymed you with you. Oh, you can't get wrong. We just with did that. something special. We made it just for you. Uh -huh. uh, so, uh, happy, happy birthday from all of us today, and happy and have a cha cha rific birthday from the Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> nice. Yes. And you have to clap the whole time. Manny, Manny, now Landry Seafood. Makes you look clever when you're clapping the whole time. He's going to sue you for copyright infringement. They, they can. They can. Yeah, I bring it on, Landry. I'm I a former employee, you. though. Huh? I'm a for, former employee. Maybe they. I That's what I'm saying. Talking about stories, are we having a story today? Yes! We are. We usually do that in about 10 minutes. Okay. But, um, oh, yeah, we do it after the second round. Yeah. I got, yeah, I got my book. You didn't yeah, leave here, the I'll book the pages. over in the other house. Okay. Isn't that tantalizing? I got tingles just hearing that. But yes, we will, we will hear the story. I'm also thinking about, like, just during the story, putting on different music during the story. <gasps> Would that a be a good idea? idea? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Can you put spooky music? I spooky could put, like, light spooky music over it as I Is read it, it. Can it be good music, or does it have to be copyright-free music? It'll be copyright-free. Okay. But I'll get it, I'll get it from my little that account. that isn't good. I like a lot of classical music and things. It'll sound something like, I'll, I'll like a... A nice copyright-free haunted mansion-esque sort of. Oh yeah, something sort that of almost is the haunted mansion, but legally yep. distinct enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always walking that edge. Walking that edge. I That's almost live line. dying. Huh? That's like almost live dying. It is like almost live dying. So I um. I recently saw that there uh this place a local is given uh, flying lessons. 
this. And I was thinking about that. I, you are more than welcome to do so, sir. Because I, I, you know, sometimes I just don't like to touch the, the soil with my foot and, and my shoes. Yeah. And I want to be in the air. I understand. In a Says machine. the lady painting wings. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I want to touch the clouds. Hmm. Well, yeah, you can go. Yeah, go for it, dude. I want to. I want to. Um, if I buy a plane, will you fly it for me? I'll fly it, and I I want to fly a plane, mm -hmm. abandon it in the air, yeah. jump out with my parachute. Okay, M B Cooper. <laughs> I I want to do that. Hey, that's a good joke if you get it. Well, I, yeah, I know what you. Murgatroyd was made up word that sounds uh, wacky. However, it is the last name. Of a family of the English aristocracy, it was used during a Gilbert and Sullivan opera, oh, Rudigore. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know what they're talking about. Okay. That Thank you, sense. Crispy. Huh? Thank you for doing my Thank homework you. for me. Thank you for doing Matt's homework for him. You should go skydiving. That's a lot of fun. Credit. I want to go skydiving, but I also want to abandon the plane. I don't know why. It just sounds... I, I want to see it keep going. <gasps> what? Comedian yeah. was it? It's somebody who I hear on podcasts a lot who hired a sky writer to write something like "How do I land this thing?" or, or something, <laughs> or like "SOS need help landing." Or, I don't know. He that's hired hilarious. A sky, a sky writer oh my to gosh, do that, and I just thought that was the best thing ever. Ah, uh, Nigel's getting uh, his his uh, comfy cushion, Come waiting on. for story time. Ooh, we're gonna pick a good one this time, then I. You should go sky. Yeah, I do want to go skydiving. Jasmine says I'll probably die that way. No, I didn't. I said that if you went skydiving often, that would increase your chances. That would be how you do die. A lot. Uh, most people don't. The problem I have with skydiving is when you do it properly, there's a very high incident of being injured with. There's like always a risk. Paralysis and things. Yeah. Even if you do everything right and you land perfectly, you still might break your back a little bit. And I don't want to do that. Jasmine, I don't think it's going to be that Jasmine would prefer fun. that I am not um, No, that is not what I said. I said that is why I don't want to do it. I don't, you can do it all you like. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I do want you to sign some papers first. Well, I, I make you sign papers all the time. That's basically my job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Toffee and I are snuggling. Well, you know, we can oh, we can kidding. skip ahead. You guys are talking about the story quite a bit. Well, then, but the raffle will start going off, and what if it's at an exciting no, point it's, of the it's mongoose? Half, half, it's only 423. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> I said the uh, time. Oh, uh, I thought you were saying okay, it was so, uh, April 23rd. Do you, like, do you like to show the book? Here, I right? do, because I like to give credit where well, credit is due. Wanna... I want to help Charles... Berkowitz? What's his name? Not sure. <laughs> it's David Berkowitz. David Berkowitz has written this book for us. His dog Alpha. And I want to honor him. His neighbor's dog, actually. But um, no, Charles Berlitz's World of Strange Phenomena. We have this wonderful book that we've had <laughs> since, uh, <coughs> since, let's see, a very long time. Are you having conniptions there? Right? You made me cough. 1988 oh. is when we got this book. So pre internet. Basically, a bunch of nonsense stories that are purported to be true. <laughs> Man, I opened it right to Pitchfork Witch, and we already did that one. <laughs> I promise you guys, I am 100% sober. I'm just like... You're just slap happy, I mean, and I kind of am too. To work. I'm in a goofy way. Anything to sound good? Guided by a vice. Guided by a vice. Oh, shut up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> It says voice. Oh. It's yeah, like, I, that's not as funny. It's like, now I'm going to be led to this via gluttony. <laughs> hey, that would that kind of works. Oh, I know this story, but it's not mysterious. At all. We're often guided okay. by vices. More than vices. Oh, yeah, uh, certainly me. How about falling frogs? I bet it's about, um, you know. Sometimes right? this happens. Sometimes this happens. Okay. This is a thing that happens, Magnolia. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, did you see what page? Oh, no. I want you to guess. No. <laughs> I have to find it. Probably, uh, 38, page 38. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Hey, I can see better because it's a... Uh... Because it's daylight savings time, mm. deniers. No. 38, family greats. This is a very short one. Oh. All well, right. We, we can do two of it short. Sorry for I all like the laughing, stories, guys. Because I don't hear anything other than Matt reading from the chat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Someone said, okay, I definitely heard D David Berkowitz and thought we were doing Son of Sam stories. Okay. Well, uh, we should maybe, have. We'll we do can that have a, a different hour. broadcast for that. Yeah. yeah. We will. Well, uh, let's see. I've got some ideas. All okay, right. Here we go. 
Falling Frogs. In May of 1981, residents in the southern Greece city of Nafilion woke up to rain of green frogs. <laughs> Were they dead? Thousands of the little amphibious creatures, weighing only a few ounces each, Baby. plopped out of the sky and flopped in the streets. This is true. Scientists at the Greek Meteorological Institute, Athens, trotted out the usual explanation. A whirlwind out of Af North Africa had sucked the frogs from a marsh that and, wafted them, all the time. <laughs> and wafted them some 600 miles across the Mediterranean <laughs> to drop them at Nafleon's doorstep. Mm -hmm. Remarkably, few of the frogs died oh, from the violent still journey. Alive? In fact, they adapted quite well to their new surroundings. Amphibians. They Some of the that. local citizens, however, reported trouble sleeping at night. Oh. Their amphibious immigrants make too much noise. Oh. That was a cute story. That's a very short story for a very true and interesting phenomenon. So, yeah. so what do you guys think about that? Now, do you know what I think about with this that story? What? Sharknado. Yes. I think of Sharknado and I think of Twister. It's, yes, with the cat. Mm. Oh, man, I, I miss that event ride thing at Universal. That was yeah, fun. Yeah, that Bill Pullman. But yeah, so uh, frogs fell from the sky. Yes. Frogs do fall from the sky. It happens sometimes. It does. It happens sometimes. Fishes do too. There's the festival is in somewhere in uh, Patagonia or in Peru, Andes, somewhere in the Luvia de Peches, that where the fishes fall out of the sky every year. And it like happens around the same time and they have a huge festival. And they think it has to do with saints. Oh, that's something. weird. Yes, it's that's true. That is what I read that gave me the idea for my Poisson Volant series. Pretty smart tornado to only pick up frogs and nothing else. Yeah, it's like where's all <laughs> it's the true. catfish and like um, the snapping turtles and stuff. It yeah. reminds me of any uh, any of the. I've only seen. I think I've only seen Sharknado one and two. I'm sorry. <laughs> they were singing the the frog song at night. Ah. If that really happened, what the heck were those little froggies thinking while whipping around 600 miles? Probably I the don't same know. thing they think when they're on the ground hopping around. A lot of people, I'm sure, have probably had to dissect frogs. And, uh, there isn't a lot to them. I, I think love somebody them, should. One of my favorite animals. Fanfic falling frogs in Oz. There, <clears throat> there have been several places that um, have had frogs fall. Oh, th that's sad, Elizabeth. Uh, Frogs falling from the sky makes me think of falling iguanas when it gets sold, oh, it gets uh, cold. Get cold in South Florida. Yeah, South Aw, Florida that's sad. Poor falling iguanas. Yeah. But yeah, I uh, I love froggies. They're my I'm favorite. so happy that they did well. They're amphibians. Yeah, well, they that's not what, I, what I'm saying is, I I feel yes. that if I was lifted up in a tornado, yes. whipping around. And 600 miles, I don't think I would survive. Well, you know what? A key, that is a short story. There aren't a lot of words in it, but one of the key phrases in that would be that there are, they weighed a, a, a few grams. Is that what it said? Less than an ounce, I'm uh, certain. I don't think it said anything. Yes, it did. did. It, uh, you just I, I read it. it. I don't remember it, though. Gosh. If you read it once, you'll remember it forever. <laughs> Let's see. It's How much did they weigh? Few ounces. Few. Few ounces. Okay. That's why I didn't remember. It wasn't specific. Few ounces. First of all, I don't think that's true. Most uh, most oh. frogs that would be falling down are probably a lot smaller than that. This is a cute story, Jasmine. A lot uh, of frogs only weigh a few grams. That are uh -huh. crispy. Says I saw Sharknado one, but I was bedridden after surgery, and my late husband had put it on and hid the remote. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is oh. adorable. Oh, funny. Uh, Katie says I Tara love. Tara reads in that one, isn't she? Tara reads in uh, two also. In part two. And, and so is uh, Sugar Ray. I just want to fly. You know that? <gasps> wow. Yep. All the A-list. <laughs> I loved all I of them. Even them. saw a few at the movie theater that played Sharknado movies. I watched them via Rift Tracks. Yes. I, I have actually not seen either of them without having uh, Mike and the gang like doing the Rift Tracks. I was watching Sharknado the other day on Rift Tracks because there's a Rift Tracks channel on Pluto. On Pluto, there is a Rift Tracks channel. If you like Rift Tracks and you do not know this and you like to leave your TV on, you can turn it to For those Rift of you who channel. don't know what Rift Tracks is, basically it's some guys. The same team from the Mystery watching, Science Theater. Right. They're watching a movie and they're making fun of it as you watch it and they're usually 
not that great movies. Although they're usually bad movies. Riff tracks will do but, good movies too. Yes, they will do good movies as an additional sort of track you listen to while you watch the movies. Yes. They've done like all the Star Wars and Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. It's like you want to watch all of them with a riff tracks background. They what it's do like that. Yeah. is if you you and your friends, if you like watching bad movies, no. if you and your friends are watching a bad movie and you're making fun of it yeah. openly mocking it yes and if, if th- they're doing it along with you who likes to watch even bad movies very quietly and you don't like people talking this is not the thing for you no well none of these movies yeah yeah these are not well that's what i'm saying if you really if, but think if you're doing it with a good movie, i watched like, all the twilights that is twilight how i watched movies. the twilight with riff tracks with riff, riff, riff. You can watch all the Hunger Games with the Rift Tracks. You can tracks. watch those. I watched one of those, and that was with Rift Tracks. So, and they have live events if you go to, like, in America. Yes. I think they have Nashville. some. Uh, Canada as well. Um, like, Where? Or do you mean the simulcast ones in theaters? The simulcast Okay, ones. I thought, the, when you say live event, I see what you mean. They have the live events in Nashville they're t- at the they're theater. They're simulcast. That you can go to and sit. Yes. And they're, the, the dudes are there. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they'll do a simulcast usually through fan, uh, Fandango? Yeah. Fathom, fan, events. Fathom, Fathom events. Fathom events. Fathom events. Um, Fathom events through, like, AMC. A lot of the big theater chains will do the riff tracks. They're also events. big big hits at uh, cons. Yes. You'll see the guys at cons. And if you watch the ends of some of the riff tracks movies, you'll see my picture. They do have, um, uh, uh, lately the I've been, of me. they have yeah. other riffers besides the old MST crowd. They have yes. a couple British guys. They do. They've got that, guests that riff, riffers. and those are actually pretty funny, Jasmine. I know you haven't oh, seen as many of those. Yeah, I haven't. Um, I um, Bridget and Mary Jo do some wonderful ones also. That yes. Are- Riff tracks, friends. Yeah, I so, think those are official riff tracks. If any though, of that, that's like a little uh, recommendation for me. If you mm-hmm. guys like campy old movies, to watch them, make fun of them. Yes. Check out riff tracks. Riff tracks. Or if you're already familiar with Mystery Science Theater, yes, it's very similar. Hey, also uh, they have a Patreon. <clears throat> if you look through on my Patreon, you can probably see I'm following. I feel like we're getting paid for this. I should, but usually I just give them lots of money. Yeah, we yeah. usually just give them money. Yeah. So we don't want them to stop making their, no. their horrible, horrible... They often do Kickstarters, too, for their um, live theater events. And they'll have great prizes. Like, again, that's why I always pay extra, because I like to see a picture of me at my easel at the end. Because <laughs> I'm a dork. And it gives them <laughs> lots of money, so that's good. Yeah, it was pretty dorky. And we're, like, at the... We were at the movie theater right next to Pop Gallery, and Pop Gallery was open there. Yeah. So there, I'm sure there are people who realize, oh, that's like, that's this that artist. Was in the movie. What? Yeah. This was in the movie at the the. How is Jasmine? God, this in the girl's movie? so famous. <laughs> she can't. She won't get. I can't get away from her. Yeah. Good luck trying. Good luck trying to get away from the Jasmine. It does not happen. Well, there's not a lot of chat going on in the room. That's okay. Because we're just talking about riff tracks. So Jasmine. Yeah. What is right now? Yes. I, I believe this is called the the underpainting that we're yeah, looking sure, at. What does does that set the tone? Kind of. What I'm doing here. Hey, I'll, actually, I'll show you guys. This is the. I might need your help. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. This is the right one. Oh, the show's doing great, Elizabeth. Oh yes. It's it's keeping me very busy. Yeah, I, these are some of the ones that I drew up at Disney. Was this last day? I forgot. Yesterday or the day or the last time. And so I've got one. You can see that this is the character that I drew at, as the demonstration drawing at Disney. I'm now putting in my painting here. And a friend with a little flower is this girl here. So I've taken, these are the just drawings on paper. I draw them with like a blue and a red pencil and then I took the ink pen and did the line work there too because I think I'm gonna make pins out of these I might make two separate pins out of these because they both stand alone as good characters but um I've transferred that down onto the gesso panel this is a piece of um, masonite and I've traced it on there and I'm starting to go and deciding where my light sources is I know I talk about that a lot but in this painting I feel it isn't especially important because there are going to be candles in it and whenever there's flame or like a really bright light in a painting I like that to be the brightest thing in the painting so I won't you if I use any white in the painting um, that isn't blended with anything else I'll put it on the candles 
So that will automatically make it the brightest thing. But I want the reflection of the candles to kind of up, kind of do it like an uplight effect on her arm that's going over it. Maybe hit where the, the back of her wing and some of the reflection over here. But I also have the Luna Moths that I want to be sort of glowing. So there's going to be a bit of a green probably go, glow around there. I also thought about making the petals on the flower kind of pink glowing, pink purple, so that we'll have a pink purple light going this way, a green light coming from here, and then the warm light of the candle in the middle. So I'm just kind of making those artistic decisions while I'm talking. I think I'm gonna get my white paint out just so I know where the So I'm I'm getting hungry flame. looking at the, the moths. Oh are you? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh those poor moths. I did see several um, Luna moths though today that so, were, were alive and fine. So that's good. So somebody is asking if you could uh, tell them what your next Disney piece would be. I can't. And I said no in the room because I yeah. I'm not allowed I have uh, Disney has me sign non disclosure agreements, which mean they could Sue me if I tell people accidentally. So I, I can't. Uh, I have one piece I finished for Disney. I think it's okay. Hopefully, don't sue me, Disney. If I tell people that it is a co brand with Disney and Lucasfilm, is one of the pieces I have just finished. And I do not know yet on the, the release date. I have to wait for approvals back from Lucasfilm and from Disney. Co brandings are a little bit tougher. Co brandings are tougher because some places, like uh, the division Lucasfilm, they might only they might only go through twice a year for their gallery stuff to approve things. So if you're like on the other side of it, it's like, oh, give me another six months. And then you've got to get the approval from Disney also. So it takes a very long time. And I don't know when it will be, so I can't really show anybody yet. But we shall see. There are, be, be uh, rest assured, there will be many coming. Rest assured. Rest assured. You can sleep tonight. You can, I said, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can you can nuzzle your pillow now. Thank you. You know I like I like a nice soft comforter. Do you? I like a nice soft comforter, and I like to I like to I like to rub my cheek on it. Oh. Just a little bit. That's kind of why they're. It there. makes me I mean, cozy. Does it comfort you in a way? Luna moth. Uh, it does. It comforts me very well. I'm like Linus there. Aww. Luna moths are beautiful, but my favorite moth is the death's head moth. Jasmine has one behind her. I knew you'd like that. Will Disney make any merch out of Jasmine's Mickey? I better. I have no idea, but I would assume so. I probably won't know until I'm like getting off a roller coaster and I see somebody wearing a shirt. But yes, it's an Ashrontea Atropos. I have, uh, well, this is actually a Lachesis one, not an Atropos one, oddly enough. They're named after the three fates. I'm eyeballing but, that. Huh? I'm eyeballing that. Looks tasty. Don't eat it. it is dried. It has been prepared. It's been ethically sourced. It is a beautiful moth. Got a tiny little skull on the back. Pretty badass. But I love these. I love, I, there are a lot of moths that I like an awful lot. Clarice, I'd like to eat your moth, Clarice. There's that, too. That's pretty funny. Got this guy, he's cool. Little Basha dude. Toy giraffe. Hey Helen, are you in Spain? How's oh, it going? Is that our British friend Helen? Yeah. I assume Helen in Spain. Our Spanish friend Helen. She's Spanish now. Yeah. Hey uh Helen, have you do you speak Spanish yet? <laughs> Probably a bed. I think you have to. Nice and I have a death's head moth as a tattoo on my right leg. Oh lovely. Yeah, they were my favorite moths. Basically, uh, your your leg is like a menu to me, Leela. <laughs> I'm really, really working I'm this mo moth, me hungry for moth <laughs> thing, aren't, aren't I? It's you funny, know, I was listening to um, yeah. a <laughs> podcast that Karen Kilgoff was yeah. talking about, that, and she's talking about how she always likes cups that have lids on them because she's terrified of accidentally eating moths. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, you know how people will, like, see a giant cake or a giant you know uh there's like big boy with with a hamburger like yes, a giant hamburger yes. sign or something and it makes people really hungry yeah i get really really hungry when i watch mothra <laughs> i do too it's like i see mothra and i'm like mm, 
I could just, uh, that would be the rest oh, of my, my life. I could just eat the moth. <laughs> Mothra. I love Mothra. LOL, go get some cashews. I don't know. You've got pretzels. Does your desire for moths have anything to do with your desire to fly and jump out of a plane? Hey, that is Exactly. A... Okay, Mothman. You, Starwind okay. gets me. Mothman? Uh-huh. He's, he, he's like a, he's like a Ronald McDonald to me. <laughs> you should read another story. That one was too short. <laughs> Mothman? No, Mothman's I, a perfect. Like, I, I'm talking we're, about. We've we've read our story. Okay. We're good. We'll we'll read Tell another me one a next story. week. Story, huh? We'll read another one next week. Okay. Thank you. A my zombie kitty pin giveaway raffle is going on for viewers. Use exclamation raffle exclamation to enter. Point exclamation raffle. point. Exclamation point raffle. Exclamation point raffle. You probably don't even say the www in front of strangeling.com each time, do you? No, I just say ling.com. Oh. Or strange dot something. Hey Bianca, what's up? I think it'd be funny. Did you if bring there any moths? A, it would be funny if there was a ling.com and it was kinda like my work but boring. <laughs> <I was> strange. <laughs> no strange about it. I moved from Spain back to the UK on Sunday. Oh. Oh wow. So she is British again. Did you learn any Spanish while you were there? <laughs> moths. Did you get some tapas? Tapas. So, a moth in a bath. Odd, no. <laughs> odd, oh. Oddly, I also like mothball soup. <laughs> Rocket Girl says, I have a Disney question if you are able yes. to answer. Oh, sure. I, I, if I can, I will. Th this is a, looks like a long question. If I it's ever like a can, little paragraph I there. Will. Yeah. Both Leia and Snow White yes. ended up for sale on the Shop Disney website. They are or are not? Were those pieces a oh. different type of project? Or were they... Just randomly selected from Wonderground to head over to Shop Disney. I have no idea. Um, Disney seems to randomly be adding things right now to Shop Disney. I think part of it is because they are closing some of the store stores, like in malls, like in you know out of the way malls and stuff. But I so they are they. I have heard. I do not know for sure, but I've heard that they are going to be migrating more things up to Shop Disney and probably the Shop Disney Parks app too. So I didn't know that those were up there. That's good to know. So are they up there now? I don't know. Are they up there now, person who's I guess me things? Rocket Girl 75 oh, said they were. Okay. okay. I mean, I Rocket Girl 75 is probably telling us the truth. Oh, I, I, yeah. I just, I didn't hear you say the first part of it. I heard something, something at shopdisney.com, you know. Uh, yeah. Leia and I forget. So that, that's that's the info we have. We yeah. don't we don't really know. So no, those, those we are, generally don't those know Those are that, the same so. as any of the other artworks I've done for Disney. They've just randomly picked those. Maybe they had some extra ones lying No, around. they were there a while ago. Oh, so they're not there now. I, I like I said I, I that's why I don't answer yes or no nothing definitive again I, I keep trying to think of better analogies it's like it's kind of like going to the grocery store and you don't know what fruits are in season I don't know you don't know you got to go to the grocery store and look was there an orange well there was was there a loquat it's like <laughs> I don't know it's it's March they usually have them wait, wait Disney okay. does what Disney do yes <laughs> yes Scooby does what Scooby do nope Doggy did. Doggy does what doggy do. No. That is just how I bought them in the past. Was just curious oh, if others might head that way. Uh, no, Thanks. I have no idea. I, I wish we had more info for you, yeah, Bianca. I'm sorry. The, yeah. The so only... Art of Bianca says I'm fighting with my loquat stealing raccoons now. Oh God! I bet raccoons oh. love that. If sunshine oh. loves them, I'm sure raccoons love them. So you like? I, I love the when the raccoons come. I love my babies. I, they I like, like to climb up my I kind of want to kiss them. Kiss them right on the yeah. face, you know. I share a lot with raccoons. I love <laughs> moths, for one. That's true. You know what? I bet raccoons eat those moths, too. They seem like they would. Oh, definitely. Got to eat those moths. You can always find bananas in the grocery store. I have. We have bananas grown in I've our backyard. Got so many bananas on this tree. It's insane. They've been... I, we should... We should show them off on Twitch. Yeah, once they're more. once they've gotten to a size I feel comfortable cutting the stock off, then yeah. I'm surprised that tree hasn't fallen over. The bananas look so heavy. I know. Well, we haven't gotten a freeze, so that's good. Did we not get a freeze this year? We didn't. Did we? we didn't. Good. Yeah, it was good. I'm hey, you know what's that. you know what I'm what's weird? What's weird? Baby? You know the the word mother? Uh uh, what is it? No. Okay, no, th yeah, think yeah. of it as mother. Of course. Like That's someone who moths. Yeah. 
Yes, I always say that about Mothra because she is a mother. Because she has babies when she does her scale attack. Mm. I sure. will trade you a raccoon or or like seven for like seven bananas. Oh, yeah. Okay. I yeah, I've got uh, more bananas than I need, and I can always use more raccoons. So you want to trade? I, I will bring you bananas. You can bring me ma raccoon. This is an uh, upgrade to Katana. I've not. This, played. This, see, this is how Floridians yeah. talk to each other, guys. Yeah, we basically have a loose uh, trade and barter system. Yes. With wildlife this, and this is how we barter. Growing fruit products. Yeah, just like Katana, like you said. Mm -hmm. Me bring raccoon. You bring banana. We eat limeade. Yes! Come and snag as many raccoons as you want. I think I already have. <laughs> no, we um, we don't have the raccoon parties in our yard we used to back when we had a, a feeder out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, basically we had some, a little mini version of something one would have on a farm. <laughs> and Jasmine's like, did you fill out? We would put a bag of food, a cat food in there a day because a we were mad people. Every damn day. Oh, God. And 700 gone. raccoons would come at night. Yeah, dozens of them. And it would be... What's bad and horrific about it is when we left they town, scream. we'd made the cat people do it, too. Yes, the we cat made the, the Like, you better, fe you better feed the town, backyard babies, buddy. Like, you have to put a bag of cat food in the trough for the raccoons, but not for this one. He doesn't like that. <laughs> Your loquats bring all the raccoons to the yard. That's what Ricky said. From the said. ground up. Yeah. Used to have a raccoon and rescue a couple years of oh, my doing rescue. Oh, yay, Miss Red oh, you, If we meet, we, you have to tell me your stories. Yeah. I'd love to hear them. I love raccoons. Rac they're so, rescue those, so and They cute. come back and visit her all the time years later. Yeah, there's a, over uh, by the office, there's a one that likes to be out during the day. Oh. He looks he looks older, but I'm not sure. Older I don't know how to tell. Often will be out during the day because they don't have to compete for food as much. He's not, so they'll they'll be out any time of day, often he, around. He doesn't scurry away. Yeah. He just slowly waddles. It's like eh. Probably senior. He slowly he waddles away. Down here to Florida. Yeah. He, he kind of looks at me. Looks looks at me, and he's he's he looks slightly disgusted, <laughs> but mostly disinterested, weary, and just wanders away. Weary and weary. What is this painting called? called Bright Candles Burned Fast. Written on a tombstone in Georgia, I read. In Georgia, the, the country, or Georgia, the state? Georgia, the state. I think it is in the cemetery in Savannah. What is that? Um, is it? I think it was uh, oh, uh, either the one in Savannah, or it might have been up. Is actually, it the one that's in uh, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Yeah, yeah um, that's cool. It's, I think it was at that cemetery, or it could been at the one in Amelia Island by Jacksonville, in, in which would not be Georgia, but it'd be Florida, but very close. Do the girls have names? Mm, not yet. They don't even have noses yet, but they will. Um, no, they, they, they have I don't. noses. What's that? I see their nose. Oh, okay. I, I mean, Vold Voldemort didn't have a nose, but he was his, his name was so amazing we couldn't even say it. That's true. But no, I don't think I've... I probably will come up with some sort of name or descriptive title for the individual ones since I did draw them as two separate characters and I've decided to put them together in this... Well, I plan to put them here in the painting, but I did two separate ones so they kind of could stand alone too. Because I do want to eventually maybe do pin designs of these. And if that was the case, I would need to come up with some sort of, if not nickname, then something so I could have a title for each of the pins. Hey, Jasmine. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how you know a room full of Jasmine fans? Yeah. If you ask what house they, they're in, they either say uh, Slytherin or Ravenclaw. You're right. None of them would say Gryffindor. No. There are no Gryffindors in this room except for I'm me. I'm half Slytherin and half Ravenclaw. And then there's Hufflepuff. They also played. A.K.A. the elephant room. <laughs> the one we don't talk about. I wonder. Who's the famous Hufflepuff? Biden? Wow, well, waffle puff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, so, yeah, I, I would, when I took it years ago, I would say I was a Griffin, Gryffindor. I bet you are. I don't do Harry Potter. I don't have a clue about the houses. Helen, you are also in Gryffindor, then. You're probably in Gryffindor, Helen. If you don't know about the houses, you're probably, if you know all about the houses, you're probably a Ravenclaw or a Slytherin. Miss Red Stiletto says, LOL, that's about 40 plus years of rescue stories. 
Ooh, oh, wow. I will sit there. Oh, but the raccoon great. I bought, well, I bought, I named Rocky, all the and he was the coolest in, until he, he got uh, to breeding age, and then he turned mean oh. and bit me several times, and I had to release him. It's like having teeth Katie here. says I'm a Hufflepuff. Whatever. Okay. I'll huffle, I, I believe, I'll huffle, I believe, Katie. and I'll I don't puffle, think she would lie. and I'll blow your house down. I don't think there's ever an advantage to lying about what house you're in. And Bianca says I'm a Hufflepuff too. Well, yeah. I believe it. Yeah. Bob is a Hufflepuff. Wow, Matt. See, are most of my fans Hufflepuff? Oh, maybe they are Hufflepuff. I should retarget my online Miss Red Slow says I'm a Gryffindor. Not sure. Uh, Lila says I'm not sure which house I'd be. You'd, uh, you're probably Slytherin. Could I Jasmine Beckett Gryffindor? <laughs> Lila looks as if with her awesome she claws and stuff. Like she looks she as, be a but Slytherin. you could you. It's whatever you're pretty. You, but, but you're so yes. sweet and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Lila's probably. Probably not Slytherin. I don't know. Not. Slytherin really isn't that good. I mean, they're all mean. Slytherin is not known for their goodness. Yeah, Leela's nice. Mean, it doesn't, they're not necessarily supposed to be mean, though. I just think that it, it's... My husband is a Slytherin. It's starting to sound like insults in the room. I was going to say. My mom says she's a Slytherin, and I'm still Your not... Your mom is not a Slytherin. That's what but, I told but her. she loves Harry Potter more than... Anybody I know, probably, so I have to believe her. Well, yeah, I'm not going to argue her. That's, that's You're the just worst gonna thing to do. going to talk about it on the internet. No. Yeah, well, that's, that's a bad thing to do is like someone says, I'm a Slytherin. And you're like, no, you're not. Like, no, you're not. I'm it's like, like when I like no, to correct am, people when understand. they're telling me how their names are spelled. <laughs> <laughs> when I get bored at conventions. Yeah. No. So no, your name's got two T's. It's like, it's Vanessa with one N. No, uh, Vanessa's got two N's. <laughs> <laughs> Helen says, I'm not mean, I can't be a Slytherin. It's not It's, it's not really that it's mean. I think it's that it's more that they're ambitious. Ambitious and, and crafty. And people confuse ambition with being mean sometimes. Because mean people might be ambitious. I it's uh, confusing, right? Lula says, I need the hat. You need a sorting hat. Uh-uh. Angela thinks that Lila would be Ravenclaw. That might be a good. That could be. I like Raven. And Luna, <laughs> talking about Luna Moss again. Um, Luna, I liked Luna Lovegood a lot. I kind of identified with that character a, a bit. And she's a she's Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Yeah. I I think that I could stand Luna for about ten minutes. In in yeah. movie movie time, she's great. She's a good character in the books. I like the actress. Um, but I think I could. Only put up with this for about ten <laughs> minutes before yeah. I'd go crazy. I'm like, yeah, no, little girl, you know, li weird, go away, weird little girl. Hey, I guess you didn't know me when I was that age. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, you did. But no, on, in, in small doses, she's great, and she she is a fan favorite. Such a backhanded compliment when you say about somebody. <laughs> Totally you're is. great in small doses. Okay, I've been told word. that so many times. <laughs> I bet. So I don't even care. That's like, a little, fine. It's a little mat go a long way. Yes. Leela says, I do like ravens and I do have claws. That's that not is how a it works. very good point. Oh, speaking of, hey, let's go to the show Leela. Wait, is Leela still in the room? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Leela, Leela, pay attention. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, Whoa. Wait, is it in here? What happened? This is. The. The chair got weird. Oh, did it sink down again? No, like at the, the back, bar? The back's poking through. That does not sound ergonomic. Now we need to change this, man. Ow, it's not. God, if only I could afford, afford to my chair. Um, shoot, did I not put this in here? I'm going to feel stupid now. Is it in the other one? No, I think I put it in the back. Sorry. There we go. Okay, so I have started Leela. Okay, so I had done all the line art for the Raven pins. I think we talked about this last time. And the, it was looks like it was going to be far too complicated or would cost far too much for me to be able to do it without losing a lot of money. So I am redrawing all of the Raven characters to simplify them. And this one's about halfway done. This is what I was doing at Disney. Jesus, last night? Did I do this last night? Yes. Wow, okay, all right. Anyway, so I'm, I, Leela, I'm, I'm redrawing them. We will have line art for them, hopefully simple enough to make some sort of pins out of. And when we do, Leela, I'm going to give you a set of them. So, we will see. <laughs> Those chairs broke. Maddie, are you sinking down? 
No, it's not sinking down. It's the back. Well, do you, you, you want to sit? Do you want to sit on this? No, let's take a break real quick. Okay. I want, I want you yeah, to you know what? We should take a break anyways because I need more more pretzels. I want a pretzel. <laughs> they're the soft pretzels, so they're they're good. They're not like Mr. Salty Crunchy. Crap. I broke a chair. <laughs> Matt broke the chair. <laughs>
All right, let's pick that winner. Oh, is it raffle time too? Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I was telling the room. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. That's Leslie, what that beeping was. Leslie Dawn. Leslie Dawn? Leslie Dawn. It's not my um, aunt. I don't know. Well, Dawn is her husband, Leslie and Dawn. No, D A W N. Oh, D A W N. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> well, congratulations, Leslie Dawn. I was gonna say I'm sorry you're not my aunt, but that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry you're not a moth. Sorry you're not a moth. But you have a zombie kitty now, and you're going to get the pin of zombie kitty, a nice one that's in a package, and I'll sign the little backing board and everything, and we will send it to you. So, yeah, I was asking Jasmine what the difference between a pretzel and, and a bagel is, and mm -hmm. Jasmine said the shape. Basically. The chair, the chair is awful. The that are well, boiled it's in broken. The What's that? I know. I, that, I, I broke it. These, first of all, that chair is bad. That chair has been bad for years, and that is like my computer chair. The, and and I will put up with a lot from a chair, obviously, <laughs> but that is a bad chair. There's like a so, metal, a metal bit that that goes in between my L4 and L5 vertebrae. That, well, now that goes right a, in my spine this thing every is, time. This thing is protruding. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So well, I like it's broken. to not be comfortable. So. Bagels are boiled in water and pretzels are boiled in alkaline solution. Okay. Well, I didn't bagels, know that. When you boil, don't you put salt in the water for both though? They're both yeast breads, aren't they? I think so. Are bagels yeast breads? Can you eat them for? I don't know. In pa you can't eat them around Passover. I'm confusing them because I've known. People who are Jewish who like bagels so much, I guess that's probably stereotypical, but like, you know, delicatessens in New York and things, but I don't know. Do you know what the next coloring picture will be for the patrons? Patreons? Oh! Pa patrons. I'm, I'm not sure because I'm waiting on Sonia to see if there's, she does. There's some, I saw an email earlier. Okay. <laughs> Do you know which one it was? Uh, I can look at... Because I, I know, I sent her the list of what ones were for which months. I don't remember. Um... I think it might be arsenic and old lace. I think it might be. I think it's arsenic and old lace. This is what I talk when I don't know. Are you uh, trying to do a Jimmy Stewart? Because oh. <laughs> as we found out, he was an arsenic and old lace. Oh, but yeah. not oh. the film. Oh, he was in the original Broadway play of it. So I was not wrong. But he's not wrong. Okay. New, New York bagels are gorgeous. Aren't they just delightful? Hence we gorge upon them. Precise. I had a New York bagel when I was a little kid. I was nine years old and I had a New York bagel and oh. I thought, that was cool. We, I remember we took Luke and Lexi when we were in New York and they got bagels. You know, I didn't. You guys got bagels and you brought one up to me because I was answering emails. God, my life Fun. is dull. Yeah. Rip to the, the chair plaza, time for a new no. one. Huh? Rip to the chair time for a new one. Oh, oh, for a, uh, oh, Helen says she doesn't have an L4 and L5. Oh, really? Is that from surgery, Helen? Have you had a, um, a, a hemicorpectomy? A hemicorpectomy, that's the word I'm thinking of, hemicorpectomy. That is when you, it's the only place in your body you can sever your vertebrae without cutting through bone. It's between your fourth and fifth. For, and there, you can do that to a living person. That was the procedure that was performed on the Black Dahlia. Was in between her L4 and L5, oh. and because they know they wouldn't have to hack any bone to sever the spine there, you can keep somebody alive for a long time that way too. Sorry, this is not Disney friendly. <laughs> but no, she, I'm sure that Helen has not had that surgery. I started the raffle, guys. Yay! People are like, what? What up with the raffle? What? Okay. Raffle. Raffle. Well, in this this raffle uh, that will be coming in about fifty five minutes, that will be at the end of the hour. It we will pick a winner and then we will pick a prize. And we have our prize wheel that has a variety of prizes on it, including original painting. So we'll see. I'm thinking about putting a bagel on it or, yeah. or a loon moth. You want a bagel, maybe? Yeah. Oh, Sorry. that's an inside joke. That's an inside joke that very few people. Very few people. All of them related to me. It's true. Not all blood. I'm not related to anybody. Tuskers. That was I'm the related only one. to Willow. That's it. You're only related to Tuskers? <laughs> no. Tuskers. 
<laughs> we are a weird aunt and uncle. We are. Darn it, I gotta go to work now. Oh, oh wow. Sorry, Crispy. That's what do you do? That you'd have to go there on a We don't are have you to like know a server it's or a nurse? Or a lady of the evening. No. Oh, that's true. We don't have to know. You don't have to tell us. <laughs> but we'll just speculate behind your back. And probably I'm guessing service industry, maybe first responder. Who knows? Crispy's probably told me before. I just have a, a, a shite memory. You do. A shite that's full of gobs. You it's do. a gob shite. Uh, a gob shite memory. I like the word gob shite. It's a good one. I like it too. Don't hear it often enough. Is that antiquated or is that contemporary? A security dispatcher. Oh, okay. That's kind of what I was saying. Like a uh, first responder. Swing shift at a casino. Well, hey, are you like, are you stopping heists? <gasps> I are bet you it's ruining like 99% Brad Pitt's heist plans? It's your job. Yeah. Don't let, if Brad Pitt comes in your casino. Don't let him don't, near Do him. not let, do not let Brad Pitt in your casino. I've seen a movie. <laughs> I saw a movie? <laughs> they got local jerk. Brad, Brad Pitt will, I don't, I don't understand how he does it, but he'll take your money. Miss Red Stiletto says, going to try to come see you at Disney since oh. I'm only 40 minutes away. Oh, excellent. After all, I am your Florida family. Are ya? So got to see my sis and brother-in-law. Ooh, who is it? Is it somebody we're related to? I don't know. Are, are, you, are you related to Nick? Oh. You know, they're... they're yeah. Their last name's Stiletto, like Micheletto. Oh, are they, yeah, they're Italian. They might be related to Nick, or even if they're not. The, you don't, yeah. <laughs> no. But yeah, if, if, if so, yes, please do come see us. Or, or if not, also come see us. I, I'd like to meet more family I don't know. You know, anyone could show up in this room and just, like, mess with us. You know you're Rawr! right. Somebody could come in and be like, Hi, Jesus, I'm your second grade teacher. You know, what's your name? I forget. Crispy says, LOL. I, I watch the parking lots in the hotel and tell the officers where to go. Surveillance does the rest, okay. but now I really have to go by. Okay, okay tell, bye. say hi to Brad Pitt. And George Clooney. And to a lesser extent, Julia Roberts. Oh, and, and also, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember, he's from Kansas City. I uh, was in Boogie Nights. Uh, that guy, too. Boogie Nights, Kansas City. Started a stereo company. Southwest High School. Um, I don't know. I know say another time. Doctor Phil. Actor. Good actor. Um, Doctor Phil. Say hi to Doctor Phil. Doctor Phil. I don't know his name. He's got an unusual name. Um, good actor. He went to Southwest High School, which is, is just amazing to me that anybody did anything. Oh, Miss Red Stiletto it. says no. Y'all said back said back that you didn't have any. Family oh. here and told me all the. Oh, I was like, gotcha. oh, I was overthinking okay. um, it. Sorry, but I, we don't know who everybody's in the chat room. I was, I was trying to think. I'm like, well, my brother-in-law has some cousins that live <laughs> not far from here, and I'm trying to think who's my family. And their and his last name is Micheletto. His last name is Micheletto. So, so yeah. I was thinking it was your name was a play on that. Yes, like you really See, like. High and that's how humans can make bizarre Micheletto. connections What's to things quickly. That's how humans can make bizarre connections. To oh, I'm going to open up this kombucha. I you guys can hear it fizz. I don't enough about kombucha yet this episode. It didn't fizz very much. Good. Do you remember that one flipping one that you got from? Those are Publix brand. They're what? Those are Publix brands. Oh, okay. This is, this is called Hopped Passion Fruit. Hopped? Hopped. Like it has hops like beer? Yeah, but it's not alcohol. I know it's not alcohol. I'll show it to you. I alcohol, buy alcohol. Yeah. You want to show it to the, the camera that sees the wider view because you don't Which want to. Which one sees the wider view? Oh, the, oh that one. I see. This is this is what you can have a set. Hopped so good. Passion fruit. It smells good too. Oh, it does smell good. Mother kombucha. You know what? I I would not recommend kombucha sometimes. Like if I lived alone, mm. I would probably be on a bigger budget. Kombucha oh, that's is good. not cheap stuff sometimes. It's not cheap, but if, if you were, for example, drinking that instead of that's a beer, why I buy the ones or on sale. A, or a fancy coffee. Well, like you said, Publix always has. This was buy one, one get one free. Because mm -hmm. I'm, 
yeah. It's okay, baby. You don't need to rationalize your I, spending. You know, I, I grew up poor, so I sometimes... You did? No. <laughs> super poor. So sometimes I like, <laughs> if too. I get any any little present for myself, uh-huh. I feel bad about it. Yeah, I know you know when dumb. I'm typing, I can serve letters because I'm worried about wasting ink and it's on a computer. Oh, that's insane. Though. I'm sick. Yes, I am. I, it's a false economy. It isn't a real thing. I would do anything for a D- Disney villain's picture. Um, says I X efficient X I. How efficient are you? Because Wait, do we have one? <laughs> anything is quite a lot. Um, my son's mom bought a few of your pieces at Epcot, oh. but she forgot the Disney villains one. Oh. You do anything for it? You know hmm. what? If you're willing I could to use do anything, there's advantage. a website you can purchase from. Yes, and I will direct you there. Your WDWstore.com is the perfect solution if you forgot to buy something at the Disney theme parks and would like to order them to have them shipped worldwide via a registered shopping service. Hey, Jasmine. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Miss Red Stilettos <laughs> says yeah. she's known because of her Red Stilettos. Oh, really? And cool. she is, they're kind of famous. Are they? The, the Red Stilettos. Fabulous. I am a person who appreciates high heels, so that is super cool. I I think I like it because then Jasmine's taller than me. I think that's cool I know for some you reason. Love that. Yeah. I I honestly think it's neat. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm going to send you this link, friend. And yeah. then since you'll do anything, you could go there and uh, see if I'm. I see the villains there. I see if it's available. See, yeah, if it says that it is back ordered, still put yourself on the waiting list because basically what a, a Disney park shopping service is It is, says put me on the waiting yes, list. Yes. Yeah. yeah, say put me on the waiting list. They it's a company that is located in Florida. They go to the theme parks and basically make a shopping list based on what people put on their website and they jack up the price a little bit not too much not like how people on ebay do but like you know a couple bucks or whatever to pay for their tickets and gas and make some profit and that way you can order things online that are usually only available at the theme parks in person they make uh if i could send a pic here i'd show you uh, you can send a pic to um matt at strangeling.com or jasmine toad at aol.com if you want to show us a pic of you and your um red stilettos oh, yes That's, absolutely. that'd be super cool and um, Miss Red Stilettos say they make me over six feet. Wow. That's super cool. Dude. How I tall, have... now, can, may I ask how tall are you norm, normally, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> Lila says she only needs a couple Jasmine's Disney postcards. Oh. And she's like set. Nice. I mostly wear four inch or three and a half inch because I only wear like a five and a half or six size shoe and anything over like four inches starts to be like I'm completely on my toes like on point instead of like actually wearing a shoe the angle becomes exaggerated to the point it is not attractive if you look at shoes as a form of architecture the way that you'd have like flying buttresses on the outside of Notre Dame or something creates like sort of a optical illusion almost but if it if it's wrong it looks wrong on me so i'm very specific so can you say but wdw store hasn't got artist mickey prints nope. back in and i'm saying disney doesn't disney even have them. doesn't have them back ja- in they didn't even jasmine have them in the park last jasmine night. created that one was I a grand slam a lot of trouble by making that pain that one was a grand slam it and it shelves yeah it uh, to be fair it, it wasn't fair for uh, Disney did not know what it was up against with the Festival of the Arts. That's it was way more successful than they probably imagined. Every artist, I've heard great stories from artists. every artist. Yes. Every artist did well. Not Disney. <laughs> okay, so tell tell me the Addies again. I'm five foot eight, barefooted. So you're you're pretty tall anyway. Stilettos are five inches. That would make you okay. Um, Jasmine, you're I'm five six, and usually I wear three yeah, half or four inches. Hill, and that you'd makes be, me about five eight. You'd be like this much taller than that me. Is... That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like. Is it hard to but... wear? What's I'll that? I'll give you those addresses. Well, you know me. I walk on my t- my tiptoes all the time, whether I wear shoes or not. Right, Matt? It's so yeah. It's it's actually what really I'm cute. For. Yeah. So if I wear something like that, I almost don't even notice because I walk on my toes constantly. That's why I like that one. Oh, and any, uh, if anyone's sending any emails about just basic inquiries and stuff, give me a few days because uh, I'll, I'm just been um, super busy, like blasted. So um, 
right after Twitch, I'm going straight to work. I have to restock the Disney show in the morning. Mm -hmm. Before Disney opens. Before it opens. Morning. So I have yeah. to stretch a bunch of canvas until I, I now I gave myself a cutoff point to like eleven. Was I saying For eleven you. or did I say yeah. ten? Yeah. And then um then like the next day. Uh, if I'm done by 11, I'll. S if I think I'm gonna be done by 11, I'll be happy. If not, mm -hmm. I'll just wake up like at four in the morning and finish off. Yeah. It off. I'm sorry. Miss Red Stiletto says no. Been wearing heels since I was 14. I had to be 13 before I was allowed to wear heels, and then I never had any money around then. So it's like I, there were a couple years in elementary school I had to wear the same pair of shoes for a couple years that were cowboy boots that said Mike on them. Do you remember this man? Yes. And it, oh. they were horrible because they were from a garage sale from a real kid named Mike. And Mike went to my school. So it wasn't only that I had these horrible hand-me-down, awful cowboy boots as my only shoes for years. The kid was kind of a snobby kid and he went to my school and was kind of a jerk about it. And they said Mike on them. They were not girls' shoes. So I think that as an adult, it was important to me that if I saw nice shoes I wanted, I would purchase them. So Jeanette says, my daughter walks on her tiptoes. She has great legs. <laughs> exactly. I have really big calves for some reason. You I do. don't understand. Um, the UK people, don't they don't get to see my calves because I always wear the pants. Yeah, you do keep your pants on over there. Ow! <laughs> I didn't do anything, but... Was that the chair again? Huh? No, it was the cabinet. Was the cabinet trying to bite the you? Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Dr. Caligari's after you. Ow! Those cabinet. Got my training. funny bone. Aww. Oh, you'll get an artist, Mickey. We just have to wait. Yeah. Also, guys, um, usually Disney when they have a painting of mine, they keep it in rotation, especially if it's popular. Sometimes five, seven, ten years. So, the artist Mickey will be back. I'm sure. In fact, I will probably be doing more artist Mickey or the similar character with other Disney characters too. That with the same sort of format. Oh, sometimes acting crazy. Sunshine, what's up, baby? Is her daddy here? I'll see. Her, her kitty cat daddy. Somebody's in the backyard, I think. It's my birds. I bet it's Jimmy Junior Pasto. You know him from the Pesto. He wrote the hot, hot guy, guy man, man Pesto. Let's do this. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna slap that kid. Okay, I love when H. John Benjamin is like a lunch lady voice yeah, on <laughs> on any show, really. But uh... friend's daughter. I have a son. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> got it. Sorry about that. If I said her. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Walking around on your tippy toes. Yep. We'll give you calves. Sure do. Jasmine has a nice long calf. I have very Mine long Mine are calves. not long. Their legs are not long, but they are very wide. Yeah. Your dads are like that, too. Yes, they are. Katie says, I'm going to have to pace myself tomorrow for Patty's Day. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, it's St. Patrick's Day. Oh, my gosh. I forgot. Day tomorrow oh. at Disney. Oh, my it God. Through. It's going to be flipping her. Oh, oh whoa. <laughs> That was me going insane. Okay. I forgot all the... Okay, remind me I... to wear something green. Not that anybody can come within six inches or six feet of me to pinch me or whatever, but you know. <laughs> so so you have to pace myself tomorrow for Patty's Day so I'm still sober enough to order the new Pop Gallery release pin set. Oh my set. god, I haven't shown... Oh, see? Flip and flip. flip okay. And flip. Wasn't that good? Flip and flip. Flippity is, is flop. That a, is that a insult or You're swear? flipping over I there. I can say flipping. Okay. Flippity flop. So... Apologies to everybody again on the extremely short notice. This, this was very cool much plot. a surprise release for everybody involved, itself included. This is the new pin set. This is from Pop Gallery at Disney Springs tomorrow. Now, Pop Gallery also has a website called popgalleryorlando.com. I'll, I'll link. Link it there. Yeah, popgalleryorlando.com. And then, of course, Pop Gallery's kiosk is at Disney Springs at the Walt Disney World Resort over on the bridge, kind of by T-Rex across from the Paddlefish Restaurant. 
that is their new outdoor kiosk. They will have these sets there and they will simultaneously, and when they open at noon tomorrow, be releasing them on the website. The website is happy to ship worldwide or come in person if you're in Florida. And if you get it, I'll be over also at Disney Springs at the other gallery at the co-op tomorrow starting at four o'clock and I would be happy to sign it for you. You can bring that, you can bring anything you want. But it's very convenient because the pop gallery is right there. Beautiful walk around the lake and then I can come sign it for you. I think it's going to cost the same as whatever their last pin set, that the Pirate Girls one that they had. Was that the last pin set? We did a I think it's 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Okay, that's easy. 50 bucks. Okay. So it's these got, got a little, limited edition. It's got of, a little gallery bump there. Oh, yeah. It's, the a, gallery it's, it's called bump. the Disney discount. You add $10. Yeah. Yep. Um, you have, we have 250 of these. This one is number one. So is this one mine? That that is that is yours for now, but eventually might be given it away or something. I've put it in. I've put okay. it already. Put it in the spinning wheel. You did. The spinning wheel. So somebody might win it tonight. And yep. I don't even. No, I, I've, I I've even, reserved a few. I have not scanned these in or photographed them or put them on the website or anything. Mm. Okay. So Pop Gallery will have them tomorrow at noon on the website and in real life at Disney Springs. And this is, of course, the Four Seasons. It is almost springtime, so I've got spring in the background. And these are paintings I did for the Pop Gallery as a series that were exclusive canvases to the gallery. I believe they still have some of the big um, limited edition canvases, too, for all four of these. Yeah, like I, the I don't, I don't know if there's a limit. I, buying online. I sure. don't know. I have no idea. The, any rules about that is going to be Pop Gallery's rules because they technically own these. I don't. They're the ones selling them. Oh, I'm Katie not. knows. Limit is five, both in person and, How does and Katie online. No, you are so cool, because, Katie. Because because you're the fans are smarter than I am. That's a good point. I yeah. I, God bless them for it. Yes, I know. I have very intelligent fans. and their flippity floppity brains. Yes. Oh, there they are. Look, you can tell it's Pop Gallery. It says Pop Gallery on it. Oh. But anyway, so we have spring, summer, autumn, winter. And fun. But that will be happening tomorrow. So definitely <laughs> try to get one. There's so two someone's you. saying, hey, are we going to wear black tomorrow? For St. Patrick's I will Day. wear a small blade of grass in mm. my hair behind my ear. I'm just going to eat a bunch of kale first. Does that count? Yes. Okay. And... Smile. Know that it will mask. be in Jasmine's teeth under her mask. Under my mask? You'll just know it's there. I could wear my, my boxing mouth guard you should, under my... You want to you put that on I for the crab? put my mouth guard yeah. under my mask. You put that on for the crab? The mouth? Sure. Yeah. yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. The hobo came by and asked me if I was an M MMA fighter. Yeah, well, yeah. I am an MMA fighter, and I just don't fight people. Is it? Is no. it around here? Uh, you know what? I think oh, I... was that it? Maybe. I thought this was it, Jasmine. Yeah. That's just okay, it's an old candle. I mean, that would work. Put that as, old candle in your mouth. You know what? I think I might have put it. What? They were so weird. Are you <laughs> saying that I lost one of my mouth guards? No uh, way. I'm so bad about it. Um, I think it's on the nightstand. Oh, okay. You want to bring my boxing gloves too? I was just saying, um, oh. Lexi yeah, she lifts, but she doesn't box. <laughs> Lexi, if you're out there, we love you so much. Card and stone, we do. We love you. Miss you. Miss you, Lexi. Miss all my nieces and nephews. All I have are fake relatives in Florida now. <laughs> I should get a bunch of swearing out of my. Oh, wait, now it's coming. Can you stop doing it by the time you get the microphone? Hey, you, you want a box? Can you, can you, can you stop hey, doing it by the hey, time? Okay. Let's do our inside voices. The box. You know, you could kind of make one of these out of a candle, couldn't you? Like a candle on the Oh, well. I'm sorry, I'll wear this. I'll wear this. Right. Right. Let's do it all. This is what I have with this. Do it now, so like me. Uh huh. Is that why he talks like that? Because he's yeah, a boxer yeah. and he's a mouth guarder? Yeah, I think he has okay. a mouth guard in the whole time. That makes a lot of sense. But no, I was wearing this and the hobo came to me and asked me if I was an MMA fighter. I was wearing a boxing outfit at the time, but... The sunshine's on my chair. Go. The broken chair? Yes. Just avoid anywhere near Raglan Road restaurant. 
Um, <laughs> that's like Jasmine's gonna wear a mouth tomorrow? mouth guard, her green mouth guard. What's that? <laughs> well, I'll wear it if I'm gonna go to the Irish restaurant. What are you talking? No. Yeah, the, the, yeah. For boxing? Yes. Okay. Get my first COVID vaccine shot tomorrow. Woo. Nice. Dang. Good job, Miss Red Stilettos. Can I have it? I'm just gonna. I'm going to like where they throw the needles out in the back. Yeah. Uh, of the uh, CVS. Yeah. I'm just going to jump in that. Sure. There's always needles back There's going to be a little bit of vaccine, and I'll just roll around in it. Yeah. And that will be healthy. I feel that that's about the best you can do, really. Yep. I think that's hedging your bets in case you're I'll concerned about I'll wear a mask while I'm doing too. it. Though. Yeah, yeah. Because well, wanna... I, I believe in safety. If you're ever hanging out with all the used needles behind CVS, you should probably wear a mask anyways. Jasmine put in a bo- boxing mouth thing. <laughs> this this is the weirdest street. I don't like. I don't know I if I like it. these I people don't, anymore. I don't know, I don't know that's I'm not sure about that say. artist lady. No. They say artists are weird, but Jesus Christ, this lady I is weird. I go by yeah. We got it. hers. <laughs> It'd be weirder if oh, I didn't sweet, wear a mouth lasting. guard and hit myself in the mouth, huh? <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's there for a reason. Dude. Yeah. These teeth are effing expensive. There you go. We got our. Look, we're getting a look all straight finally. I think I think it's cute that you wear that when you box. Why? On our, because the, you, those are usually if someone's boxing you. Oh, I accidentally hit myself in the face all the time. <laughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> well, sometimes I get all worked up and. You know. Oh, so Leela's <laughs> Leela and uh, so Angela's okay. got her. They got the, their. Are they the two? Their la- they got their first one last Thursday. Okay. And so they've got their first one. And Leela and family have got theirs. Nice. Their first one. In the yep. UK there. You know what, Jasmine? Publix had a little sign-up thing. I didn't read the thing. Right now it's 60 still unless you have oh, okay. a special. I did. I could. I don't think I can even get a doctor's note anymore because last time I got my blood test, my T-cells were good. So I don't think I'm immunocompromised. Oh, so. well, that's that good. Helps. Painter by day, Rocky by night. Yes. Jasmine calls me Adrian. No. Having cancer should have been about to to get mine in the first wave. You would think. Oh yeah, but like Jas- Jasmine's T well. cell count is good. Yeah, my count. Yeah, is fine. Uh, I don't, yeah, I'm, I don't, not, I'm not on any immunity. You're not at risk now. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm gonna say no. As a scientist, I've decided. Not but a no, Scientologist. I want to get, get a. Um, a scientist. Yeah, no. Not a Christian no. science, a scientist. No. no. Not First Church of Christ scientist. Oh, that's getting confusing. It, not, not as confusing as Fifth Third Bank. And I know the story I still don't it, understand. I, don't I still care. don't understand it's Ruth's Chris Stathouth. What? Ruth's? Ruth's? I, I Ruth's, actually, I actually Ruth's do know Chris the story behind Ruth's, Ruth's, Ruth's Chris, Chris Stathouth. Stathouth. And I know the one behind Carl's Jr. I, my, years ago. When I worked Incorrect. for a, when I worked Jesus for a dentist, he took he took me out to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, and, <laughs> and, and I'm a get? vegetarian, and I, and, <clears throat> and I'm like, what, what can I have here? They and I'm like, potato? there's a potato. They really did just give you a potato. Yeah. So here well, they have like side or asparagus or anything? they had broccoli. It was good. Wow, they're they're like, good? you you want a potato, sir? Here's a potato. And, like you know, a, is it like a forty dollar potato? <laughs> and the doctor was laughing at me and stuff, and I we made. Mr. Potato Head jokes and mm. and got along, you know. Yeah, well, you know. And, and it was can a good time. Of you for choosing the healthy option. Yeah, and I and I, I I didn't like razz anyone for chewing on my cow friend there. That's good. Yeah. Well, that doesn't really help. It just my, makes everybody feel bad. <laughs> my friend lives in Florida. Also, she oh. is under sixty, but has a history of cancer. Uh-huh. Has a high BMI, so they are giving her one. She oh. does Wednesday. Well, good luck to her. Good, See, luck to her. good luck to everyone. Yeah, good luck I, to I want I want everyone to be happy and healthy and good Cute. and and polite. Polite. I don't know. Why I'm saying polite, but polite? be polite I too. Hate yeah. People when they're not polite. You don't like you don't like impolite. No, I'm quoting a Talking Heads song. Oh, me. oh yes, I agree. Yes, Mr. Byrne, <laughs> y- you've hit the nail on the head As yet again. 
You may want to check Publix. They may be vaccinating all Florida residents. Well, I, I okay, at, Tigger, I'll check that out. I looked out. at it yesterday, and they were... Well, when I was there earlier is what I'm saying. I'm getting okay, the, yeah, getting I, my kombucha. I looked at the website yesterday, and it was it had they said they were going to be moving from 50, oh. from 60 to 55. We still like to talk about products. What? I, no, we like to talk about... Go ahead. <laughs> okay. these, are, these are awesome. What are they? Wait, are they ice cream? Wait, no. Ready what? Oh, ready oh, with. We can show that too. Shit, yeah, okay. These are good. No, these are. These are vegan. Yes, but give them a shot. What? On TV? Yeah. I don't think I'm supposed to. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't, I don't want to eat them on TV. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, these are super good. They make a coconut one and an almond one in their books. They don't have dairy in them. Which one should I try? I'll put one off camera. I don't want gifts of this later on TV. <laughs> We'll do it Ouch. together. Are you okay? Oh, um, no. Ow. Okay. Oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that on camera. Yeah. Mm. Do you want an ice cream sandwich? Uh-uh. Oh. Um, well, I thought you were going to show the ice cream sandwich. Oh, sure. They're good. Those are vegan, too. Those are coconut milk. Yeah, it's so delicious. It's the brand. Mm-hmm. And that is... I like so delicious. They actually are. I'm, I'm a coconut junkie. So. And some like how tiny they are. They're kind of cute. <laughs> Look at how small these are. We love them. Um, yeah. These are, actually, I'm going to have one pocket. Or, er, screw it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these are super good. They're vegan and they only have 100 calories per sandwich. I'll have one too. You're just hungry today, aren't you? You're like, hey, why don't I you show off some products? I didn't have any cookies earlier. Cookies. When you're eating cookies, or when you're eating pretzels, or when you're eating those cheesy things, or what are those? One co- it was, it's like a health cookie. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. Yeah, shut up. Every morning with you. Mm-hmm. Oh, those are good cookies. Those are protein yeah. cookies. They've got lots of protein. You but put I, the lime I, in the I coconut. I actually love yes. vegan ice cream sandwiches because they, like, I think they hold their cold mm. longer, and I can just set them down, and they don't melt, even in Florida. They will, like, in a half hour, but they don't melt immediately the way, like, dairy ice cream does in Florida. If you get ice I mean, at Disney, if it's, like, 95 degrees out, you get an ice cream cone, it's going to be gone. Oh, so Angela managed to get hers in Walgreens, and oh. Miss Red Stiletto says, can't get appointments at Publix or CVS or Walgreens, all taken for foreseeable future. Okay. So, um... Wired two four seven four seven says, "I love those, but I never get all the product out of the container." Yes, same here. And those... have written and complained, but they still don't work right. Yes. I love those ice cream sandwiches too. We had three of those whipped cream things that all of them malfunctioned. So I love the product inside of it, but I hate the dispensers. And hate is a strong word, and I'm using it correctly. Okay, guys, Ron Moore's asking who won the 4 p.m. raffle. Kimberly Yu. Oh, no, Leslie Dunn. Okay. Need something once you want to make it forever. Uh, Mr. Uh, okay, they're talking to each other in the room. Just saw a woman turn down a last vial shot at Walgreens. Oh, really? That's wacky. Oh. I have it. Hi, Jasmine. Love your artwork so much. I recently got your mermaid coloring book for oh, my birthday fun. on March 3rd. Hey! And I'm in love. Oh, thank are you Are those so related? Much. Or are you also in love and it's like sweet? Oh, that's and you found it. Either found way, a it's a happy time to be in spring. That is a good coloring book. That is an excellent coloring it. book. That, the mermaid one might be my favorite. I'm partial to mermaids in general. I, I mean, I paint a lot of a lot of things, but as far as fantasy characters go, I actually sometimes like painting mermaids more than I do fairies, which is I don't know why. I think it's because I'm an ocean person. Sea people. Who won 5 p.m. Jasmine? I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess Katie Herman. That was Leslie. Leslie Dawn. I said that was Leslie Dawn. Yeah. Someone said sorry. I meant 5 p.m. as well. Five hasn't happened yet. No, oh, wait. It did. Oh, that it's was 535. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still on Jasmine time, which doesn't respect um, daylight time. Or daylight in general. I'm in Winter Haven, but I'm getting mine through Lakeland Regional Hospital. Well, 
I don't know like Lynn Regional and Oh, so Miss Red Stilettos is uh, local. Oh, cool. cool. Hey, okay. maybe sometime you could come by the booth and wear your uh, wear awesome your shoes. red stilettos. I'll wear mine. I'll look yeah. for the very, I'll wear very my tall gold person. ones. They're badass. Nigel likes the mermaid pieces. Yeah, I name. like painting the oceans. I like painting um, ocean critters a lot. They're such a wide variety of animals can live in the ocean. More varied than a lot of the vertebrates that are on land in some ways and i like painting a lot of them mad says i'm a pisces which means i'm basically half fish so that's why i love mermaids ah totally I i'm a sagittarius so i'm i'm half man so half muscular man so i basically love muscular men exactly well but you are it, it, that's Arnold how it works with the fan. signs yeah. that's how it works it jasmine loves twins she can't get enough of them i'm like jasmine nah, I'm stop just... painting twins look I... at her right there Okay. Right. See? True. You know, the people with, I don't talk to cancers at all because they've got crab issues. They do. Yeah, it I mean, just I goes like, on and on and on. I, oh, I thought you meant like an STU thing. <laughs> Sorry. Are you guys coming to DCON this year? Absolutely. If DCON's happening, we will go to DCON. Is that, it's people called, is, I thought DCON was like a roach trap. Thing, it is, right? but um, bird, <laughs> Birdman means... Oh, okay. Birdman. Yes. Bird, Birdman? Birdman. Birdman. Uh, um, Birdman yes, photos. Yes, Adam Seth and Lily. Well, it, it, we it is now have a booth Birdman, there, no but they can what cancel it. That happened last year. Paid for our booth and it got canceled last year. I'm an Aries, so but I love Earth. We mermaids. just let them keep our money and said we'd be back whenever they'll have us. So Nigel we'll is an there. Aries? Dude, Aries. you've got some hidden fire there that I have not seen, Nigel. Aries are often my favorite people. I like Aries as well. Sagittarius and Aries. Are Those are fire good signs, folks. Jasmine. Yeah, Aries yes, they are. are. Yeah, Aries are good. Aries are good. I get along with Aries too. Yeah, Robin's an Aries. Yeah, I get along with Aries. Yeah. They're they're usually bright. Yes, that's very yeah. true. I don't know if I've so ever So you are Aries. um you've got a lot of fire in you, Nigel. I bet he does. Aries are Aries are kind of potent people. Sagittarius are, are are they're also fire, but they're like chill. They're wonders. more chill fire. Um, Gemini's are not chill. No. no. I love being a Gemini. Though. That's like Linda says I am a Sag. I identify with the most I'm a Sagittarius. It's like the full name. Sagittarius. It's like everybody knows doesn't know how to spell Sagittarius except for <laughs> Sagittarius. In me. I'm a Sagittarian, which is why I hunt things like toads with plows. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Lila. Yes. See, Whoever Lila's... said that is awesome. So, Lila's a Sagittarius with uh, Aries. Sagittarius that's and Aries. That's a That's my dad couple. and his wife. Like who? My dad and his wife, Robin. Oh. Yeah. She's an Aries? Yes. Oh, I like. I love Robin. Yeah. I, I, I lo actually love her. Yes, I love her too. Yeah. She's been one of my mother figures since I was four. Yeah. <laughs> Scorpio. I love Scorpios are cool. Oh, sure. Theo's a Scorpio. Ariel's a Scorpio. Ariel's a Sagittarius. Oh, she's a Sagittarius. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Who was I going to say? Um, uh, Annie. Annie is a Scorpio. Marty's a Cancer. Thinking. Ah, yeah. Those Cancers. I'm telling you. My sister Amber and her husband Chris are both Cancers. And when you get two Cancers together, they just turn into one. I think they metastasize is the word. Oh, that's a bad joke. Yes. I can tell that's good. <laughs> yeah, I like that one better. That sounds more nervous. It's like, is it okay if we're laughing at this? That's more, I have a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> Birdman is a Pisces. Miss Red Saludos is Aquarius. Sonia is a Pisces. Beth's Pineapple is also Ari Aries. Marty, uh, nice. Marty says Cancer is a water sign. Yes. It's the Taurus. Crab. I get along with Taurus pretty good too. Kachina's a Taurus, but they are jealous. The ones that I've got, I think I've, I might, I'm trying to think. Virg, I think Virgos and Cancer, I, I don't seem to jibe with them as much. I'm not sure. Virgo. Um, I don't think they like me. Ken Diggs, uh, Virgo. Yeah. September first. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Trying to think, who else do I know is a Virgo? Beginning to think I'm the only Capricorn in the room. There are Ca Capri many. Capricorns is, is it like, Luke? You, you've got a, <laughs> Angela, you've got kind of a, a fun streak with you. I've met a lot of Capricorns that are not fun. Luke is a Capricorn, right? Sometimes Luke's not fun. 
you were right. He no, he was like, no. I don't like kids. He knows I that. just don't yeah. like kids. He, well, he's a teen. He, when he said that, he was a teenager. He just I said mean, it the other day on Facebook. Well, he's a teenager. <laughs> he's not a teenager. No, he's not. I give him beer. No. No, I, I don't want to have kids, but he's like, I, I don't like 99% of the kids I've met. I'm like, Jesus Christ, how can you say that? That's you know amazing. what, Matt? Would I not have said that to you when you met me? <laughs> Helen in Spain's got to go to bed. Oh, be careful, or not be careful. Be um, careful. Only if, only if Brad Pitt's dreams. in your dreams, be careful. Have wonderful dreams. Yes. Wonderful dreams. I guess it's late. Kintra said night. sigh. I wonder what she's sighing about. A Taurus. That's good. What are you, Kintra? Holding back. Sure, she doesn't... You don't like this sign talk? I think she considers it a form of sorcery. It is. Kind Birthday of. on the edge of Virgo and Libra. I like Libras. I am curious of people who are cusp-born, like, part one sign and another. And I'm also curious about people like my sister Amber, who stayed in my mom's tummy for an extra month or two, and it's like, well, she's, was she supposed to have been another thing, but they just didn't induce pregnancies in the 1980s? I mean, I, what do you count? Mm. Kieran, is, Kieran is a Leo, Jasmine. Or if you're a oh, it's a Leo. Okay. Tiger Lee like is a Virgo, and Andrew is a Capricorn. So, Lilo's family is all different things. They are. That's funny. A, it seems like a lot of families I know seem to have clusters of Groups of birthdays. You know what I mean, Matt? Oh, Kintra said already said I was a Virgo. Ooh. Oh. Matt, are you not are you forgetting all of the zodiacal signs of the people in the chat room? I I you know I You should get on that. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm I'm a bad person. I know. And that's why Virgos don't like me. I didn't say I had a problem with them, I said they don't like me. Oh. Virgos and cancers, usually. They have issues with me. It's okay. I don't mind it. Chris and Amber are cancer? Yeah. <laughs> we love you, Amber. Aquarius is the giver of all life, being and the water. water bearer. I'm also a Pisces rising. Well, you, you're a water bearer. I always You made think it sound so poetic. Tardigrade, like uh, the little water bears. The little um, oh, tiny microscopic. Yeah, those are cute. Um, <laughs> water bearer. Uh, yes, I know. Bearer. Are, two, R's, two R's that close never uh, like are you rural? No. Oh, I don't. I hate the word rural. Rural route R. Rural route. Rural. Is, suddenly you turn into Jean-Claude Van Damme. What sign are you and Jasmine? Well, Marty, I am a Sagittarius and Jasmine is a Gemini. I am a Gemini. I'm, I'm going to check Please something. Please answer that. I would appreciate that. Thank you, baby. I'm saying this because somebody might be coming from important. Somebody don't know about Twitch. Oh, it's a package. Oh, okay. Just leave it for me if you don't mind. It's a, a second day air, so I'm going to Oh, okay. Fast leave it for me if you want to. Will do. I'm waiting on a bunch of... I'm on flies. Virgo Libra cusp, like you both. Oh, oh. so uh, that's... Oh, <laughs> I like you both. Aw, thank you. Yay! You might... Somebody likes us. Libras, Libras tend to like me. Jason was is a Libra. I loved Jason. J I love Jason too. He no was he was hilarious. <laughs> My hubby's a SAG. You probably have a great time. My uh, yeah, man's a SAG. My dad is also. If you the, if you're look if uh, I would say if you want a I, I don't know if you if you're looking for a, Sa a a Sagittarius and a mate. They're not usually boring. That's 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 the thing. They're not usually boring, but that's that's like that's the only benefit, really. You know, there's you're usually not going to be bored. Yeah, they, yeah. But other than that, they could be wacky, I, yeah. run run around like a kook. I don't know. There's been some... Grinchy says both my ch my children are both Sagittarians. I both they're wacky and they run around like kooks, don't they? <laughs> Zami says I have an apartment in. We'll have to log off soon. Oh. oh you mean an appointment? appointment? I just say APT. Or maybe they have an appointment. Uh, will I still be in and You will. Yes, yes, you will. You will. Yep. I was going to say, they're just bragging they have an apartment. <laughs> Gotta go do laundry. Angela says, Bob makes me fun. He's a Sagittarius. Oh, there you go. That's the thing is, Sagittarius are often eggers on, and they will make a, they will try to make a situation fun that's boring. Yeah. At, not that I put a lot of stock in it, but <laughs> I don't like, I hate being bored. It's my number one hate. I'm never bored. 
Are SAGs like baby Jaguars? Yes. Yes. Good memory. Good Nobody's memory, Mary. Who, who said that? They're smart. M. Campbell. Ah, you're smart. Baby Jaguars. Yeah, I figured it out, Zami. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I lived in apartments like up until I met Jasmine pretty much. <laughs> so I just, when I see APT, I think apartment. Apartment. Way more rent. Eviction. Oh, yes. It's always in that order, oh, man. It's great. All... <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the Dodge. Oh, there's there's, there's all the knocks on the doors and there's hide. The, my mom's in a shower right now. Yeah. My Sagittarius talk a lot. That's another thing we do. We talk a lot. Yes. Yes. They like the sound of their own voices. We do. Yes. It's Even nothing. Even my dad. We're, oh, sorry. we're generally not Love proud you, of it at the same time. We fancy Even ourselves philosophers, but I don't know if anyone else agrees. Even my dad. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. Yes. I love you, Daddy. You're not watching Twitch. Your dad's your dad's very funny and he's very philosophical, but I'd say he I tend more towards the funny part. He tends more towards the philosophical part. Yes, he part. does. But, yes, um, but he is ideas. very he is he has said some. He's very he has a good sense of humor. He does. He yes. has a wonderful sense of humor. Yes, and that means something to me. Yes, me too. Hence, that is why we hunt for things, says Leela. Yes. How we wander around, you know, eat moths, hunt around, yeah, eat moths, back Give to moths. Give people rides moths. with your cool horseback. Thing. I'm always doing errands. Carrying stuff. I yeah. don't like the the I think that the pandemic for, if you're talking about a sign, astrological sign, the pandemic mm. has been pretty rough on Sagittarius because they like to go do stuff. Yes. Oh like, god. I, I think about yeah, think about how stir crazy my dad gets being ten minutes in a house. Y- your in dad, a house. He can't be in a room for like ten minutes hardly, you know? Yeah, Jasmine's dad yeah. is uh he's an outdoor person. He he is always moving. He doesn't take his shoes off. No, he sleeps so with the, his shoes on. Yeah. What? Yeah, he just he he does it. He's yeah, he's just not um. Yeah, he, he likes to be on the move. Comfort the way I hate comfort. <laughs> yeah, he, he he despises comfort. Now, see, I like Pillows comfort. Pillows are though. the opiates of the masses. <laughs> Pillows are the opiates of. The... <laughs> it's true. Do you have siblings no. or parents who are total opposite signs of you? Um, Gemini is the opposite sign of mm-hmm. me. I do not have a Gemini mm-hmm. in my life really, except for Jasmine. Yeah, there aren't any others of us. No, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I think so too. But that is weird, Jazz. I have me. I, that's all I need. Yeah, because we were like, there was me, Nick, mm-hmm. um, Ariel, your dad. Uh, and you are, think my sister's having adjacent birthdays to me would be Gemini's, but they're no. one of them's a Taurus and one's a Cancer. Yeah. So I do not, and so Jasmine does, in fact, yes, she has a Sagittarian father. Yes, I do. That would be the opposite sign of her. Yes. Now, opposite acting, yeah. no, not so much. I don't think Gemini and Sagittarius act opposite of each other. I would say that the one that prob- might be opposed to Sagittarius would might be Capricorn. They're hardworking and serious and in indu- not, Most, not that the Sagittarius can't be. It's just obviously you can't speak in generalizations, but I have found Capricorns tend to be more homebodies and indoors, and Sagittarians tend to like to be outdoors and travel. Yeah, not always, or prefer outdoor activities or moving around more. And uh, yeah. I, I live Capricorns. in Florida, and my favorite season is summer. <laughs> I mean, I like being outside. It, yeah. It's not. Yeah, I. And you get freckles. I do. I don't get them on my face as much as I used to. Isn't that funny? That is funny. Yeah, I used to. I don't get freckles. I just get cancer skin. (laughs) Yeah, that's a different sign. (sighs) Crab skin. Crab skin, yes. The emperor of all maladies. Kintra says, oh my gosh. Oh god, is it going to play? If that is... Hey, I didn't know I could do that. What did you do? I muted it. Can we just throw it away? <laughs> I'll put that was it in our the horrible drawer phone when you're sound. not here. Huh? Who is it? I don't know. Do they want to be on our program? I don't know. I'm if just going to hang it up. If it's the people that start with an X, we should ask. <laughs> Everything's okay. Finally. After a, year, a, a lifetime <laughs> of strife. <laughs> this is where it happens. Okay, so let's see. One daughter is... This is Kintra talking. Oh, The Virgo. One daughter is Capricorn. Other is Libra. A Kindorf husband is also Libra. His kids, Aquarius, Aries, and two 
Taurus. We have oh. quite the wide variety. Wow, that is a wide variety. Cap Capricorn daughter doesn't go outside very much, but then again, she's 16. Uh, that used to mean the opposite when I was little. When I was 16, I rarely went home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, things have changed quite a bit. Things have changed quite a bit, and I, yeah, I didn't have a computer when I was 16. I mean, so I would. I, I remember, know. like, staying at my friend's house, especially during the summer and stuff. Yeah. I'd be like, hey, Mom, see you in a week. <laughs> and uh, I wouldn't see her forever, you know? It's like, she and then I'd be back. Off to I was like a when cat. I, that age. <laughs> yeah. I would, um, I'd get very bored in my little hometown of Grandview, Missouri. Oh, Lord, I betcha. And do you know what I did for a pastime? I'm guessing breaking windows looking at the town. No. But what? It's the same thing your cousin Daniel did. Oh, I, I'm going I, buildings for I would climb on, I would climb on the buildings. I would scale buildings and I would hang out on top of buildings. Yes. It doesn't hurt anything. That's Not that's what Cecil I did for Hotel. fun. Yeah. I don't is that was that being a bad kid? I don't know. It's just being bored. How's it being I'd walk bad? down I'd walk down the How's train it? tracks and like look at rocks and then I would see beer yeah, bottles I and I Do kids even play on train tracks anymore? I used to love playing on train tracks and like you put bullets or pennies on them and watch the trains run them over. Buttercup says, my 16-year-old doesn't leave his room a lot and sleeps a lot. Keentra says, uh, going back to her daughter, her Capricorn daughter, mm -hmm. she loves her phone with all the YouTube and Wattpad. Ah, uh, Wattpad, though. Yeah, Wattpad. Uh, that, there's a lot of mental uh, a, exercise yeah, I was there. Say, that's a um, intellectual, or a, 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 a interactive sort of stimulation, at least, as opposed to just being passive, like a lot of youtube but so, yeah uh m campbell says what was your first social media account myspace what did you mostly post about at that time i so mine I was live journal live journal and i posted the same silly crap that i post now and i posted Just a bunch stuff. of pictures of big-eyed mermaids that i painted yeah we that's a, yeah <laughs> yeah i've never been a different person than i am now and i that's what i had back then was live journal now i just use whatever is the thing now. and i've always been silly like that I just, and yes matt's always silly i just i like that i don't know why i like i like throwing strange ideas out there i think i probably when i was first doing things i would talk more about day-to-day -day things or but now i'm have to be more careful about what i'd say yeah it's I'm smart to be hesitant eye, about so it i've got to be more careful about personal stuff but this, this that, right here I'd this twitch is is probably if you want to, if you want uh a view into our goofy life this is probably about as close as you're gonna get I would well, say. we're going to be adding a lot more elements over this upcoming year, too, once we start traveling. Yeah, that, that's very true. Having more fun stuff like that involved. Everyone wants you tonight, Jasmine mm. and Matt. LOL. <laughs> that says Kieran. Yeah. That's Everybody the... wants you. Well, you know what? Fair. Usually... Everybody. Yes, yes. You know that song. <laughs> Usually on Twitch, we do it on Sundays. And it's a... Um, Tuesday today, so that could be why businesses might be calling us or delivering things when normally they wouldn't be during Twitch. That is something to think about, especially with mail deliveries and stuff. That yeah. doesn't happen on Sunday. Aw, Mads, Mads K33 says, I hope this doesn't creep you out, but Jasmine, but you are super pretty. Oh, thank you very much. And it certainly that doesn't, does not creep it me doesn't out creep me out either. I, I honestly, I, I love it when, <laughs> I love it when Jasmine gets compliments yeah. like that. It makes me feel, I don't know, it's, it's just nice. It makes me blush. Yes, Not many and it's true. Do. Not many things do. Yeah. Is the live cam still happening? Uh oh, is it not working? It's working. Okay. Um, I'm. I do you mean? Uh, I wonder if they're talking about the uh, crowdcast. Crowd 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 um, I won't be that, doing any crowdcast until after my Disney event is over. But eh. my it dad requires was an extra day a week, and I don't have it when I'm doing two days at Disney every week. What's that, baby? My dad was this Miss Red Stilettos, oh, okay, our, our local right. friend. Yes, I like to call these people local. My friends. local high heel friend. My dad, my, our local six foot high heel friend. Yes. My dad was a Leo. We butted heads. Lost him in two thousand one. Oh. Uh, brother was a Virgo and lost him in twenty nineteen. Oh my gosh, oh. mine is a mine. Time is it? M I N is a Pisces and sister is a Scorpio. Oh, you oh. are? Are you saying you're a Pisces or a kid? <coughs> Oh, yeah, Sunday fight. It's not even Mom Sunday. is a Pisces, I see. Oh, gotcha. My mom is a Leo. They like telling people what to 
What? I forget what my mom is. They're leaders. That what's, sounds what's, nicer. What's March 27th, guys? That's my mom. <clears throat> she's an Aries. Oh, wait. She's not an Aries. Wait. Maybe wait, that is she's Aries. She's an Aries. Is your mom an Aries and you've been talking about Aries and how much you like them? I love my mom. Yeah, I know, but you didn't know your mom was an Aries. <clears throat> Dude, I don't know things. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know. Okay. It, is mom an Aries? Yeah. What's her birthday? March 27th? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Let's yeah, it's Not Aries. That explains it. She's a fire sign too. I can get uh -huh. that from her. Yeah. Uh, last hope of art See, says. And you know what, Matt? I get along with your mom real good <clears throat> more than I get along with most people. That's true. Yeah, yeah Aries are Aries much, are yes. Aries. There's something about them. Yes. Last hope of. Then Robin, yeah, Aries. Last hope of art says, Jasmine, you have been an inspiration, and I have followed you from the day I bought your Alice painting at the Disney Gallery. Oh. You? Now it's my wife's and I, and mine obsession, uh, obsession <laughs> with your very deep work and your talents. Thank you. I'm an artist of multiple aspects. I have sculptures in many different places in the world, cool. though I am not one to be on the radar for talent. I create just to create, a passion for which I share in silence. Oh, what a, that is what a wonderful. sweet, wonderful message. And I wish more people thought about art in that way sometimes. I think a lot of people get bogged down. Obviously, well, people like me, I do it for a living, but um, with the commercial aspect of it, and when really the main thing is the actual making of the stuff, and that is the part I enjoy more than anything. It makes me happy when other people talk about that. Oh, N Nigel says your mom is my birthday twin. <gasps> oh! Ah. Oh, that's funny! That's yeah, so cool! Uh, you, uh, did, hey you Nigel, did you see mom? Um, you may have seen mom. If, unless she, in... It would be Glastonbury. Yeah. Um, yeah. mom, mom walks around a lot, but then she, yeah. uh, <laughs> she'll come and, and, you know, say hi. But I like to let Bring her run around. Bring veggie sausage. My balls. mom will go yeah. and she'll talk to, like, people at the, at the church and then go talk to people at the, at yeah, the health food like store. Yeah, she goes to, like, the churches and, and gets the, the free soup and stuff. <laughs> No, that, 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 that it's for a donation. I know, I know. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Man, <laughs> it's not a soup kitchen. It's, man yeah. says, "I really hope one day I, I come to visit you at Disney and tell you how much your coloring books have helped me with my anxiety and depression, and um, and let my um, lets my artist side out come out." Oh, I hope so too. That would Aww. be lovely. If you do, definitely let me know that you were you and that you talked to me up here at Twitch. And I'm so happy that you're enjoying the coloring books. And when people talk about how. They use them for things like relaxing or to relieve anxiety, especially when you're stuck inside or if you're sick or something. That makes me feel like it's a, it's fulfilling a practical niche as well as being something that is a product, and that makes me happy. We got a minute. Well, no, is a this the last minute one? to raffle? Okay. This is the last one. And you so know, this I, would be the um yes the spinning wheel. And I'll get to, and Sorry, I'll get to work. This painting is beautiful, says Mary Kay. Oh, thank you so much. It is gorgeous. I'm, I'm really liking it so far, and I'll I'll be working on it off and on. We're gonna be, of course, we're gonna be a two, next Tuesday. We'll be Twitch. Also, we've moved it to Tuesdays while I'm doing my Disney event. So I I'll probably be working on this one. I might still be working on it next Twitch, or I might have finished it by then. Depends how much work I get done at Disney on the other projects too. But either way, I'll continue to post um, works in progress on my social media, my Patreon, on my... Um, oh my god, I didn't show the new Don pins that I was going to show. I printed them out and everything. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> I, I can hold the raffle. Okay. All right, 80. Oh, I already got paint on it. Oh, well, these are just printouts. I wanted to show... That we have the mock-up for next month. Matt will do the raffle, don't worry. It will be March. We will have Rainbow oh, Twilight this is cool, Delight. Guys. And it is going to be the rainbow metal plating on the whole thing. It will be a hard metal sort of thing. And then the other one is going to be Venus in gold. It, it looks like she's all white. We have a hard enamel this time that is kind of a pearlescent, almost like porcelain sort of finish. And the rest of it is going to be like all gold plated. It is going to cost more, but not for Patreon patrons. We're going to send both of these to you guys automatically. This will be a this is May. Yeah, we haven't decided April. on the price, but it will be. I don't know what the price will be, but no it costs a lot cost more to, to make to when your you use fancy metal than when you use just, you know, black zinc iron. But, um, so they will cost more on the website to buy. But if you are a Patreon patron, we're still going to give them to you as your pins. So you don't have to pay anything extra. I would not do that to you guys. That'd be a jerk move. That would be a real jerk but move. But for the, for the bulk of it, the, the web order, we need to, we need to 
up the price, unfortunately. Yes, yes. Yeah, we, on just one. on those two ones. Right, we're because, because they're metal. they're harder to make. Because the they're materials cost a lot more. And then you have to plate them also. But I'm excited for both of those. Oh, did you do the, did you do the price? Um, no, um, I wanted to read you a couple things. Oh, sure. Uh, so, uh, Last Hope for Art says, I've yet to see your pick. Funny, it's not that important. You have an unbelievable talent. And believe me, I've seen thousands of artists. You have introduced us to a whole different aspect within the art field. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very eloquent speaker there. Yeah, uh, Steph say, says, you're that. one of my absolute favorite artists. I'm going to be in oh. Orlando next week. Hey. And I'll definitely be coming to see you Monday. And probably Wednesday as well. Can't wait to meet Yay, you. I Yay, Steph. It's a good you. time. That's lovely. Again, it, it's, it's a fairly busy show, but it's not so busy that we can't chat. Not yeah, like exactly. It's not like Dragon Con or something crazy. You yeah. can come see me. You can talk to me. You can watch me draw. It's, it's fun. Yeah, feel we free to chat with us. guys and talking to you there. It's just a good time. Everybody at Disney Springs is having fun. It's, it's good. Angela says, I love how you have the purple flower uh, look as, as though it's glowing. It does yeah, right now. Yeah, I'm going to make that kind of glowing purpley pink over here. Then I'll have the green from the Luna Moths. They're already starting to glow a little bit. And then, of course, the candle down here will have sort of a warm, reddish sort of flame-colored light. Mm, that's just Miss Red Stiletto says, I've been following you since 2009. Oh, wow. Thank you. Buttercup's talking about the... The pins look amazing. Can't wait to get them. Jasmine, would you ever consider doing a Zodiac-themed coloring book? If so, that would be awesome. But did it only have 12 pages? <laughs> I mean, you'd have to do like three of each. You know, I, I have... Oh, my God. My ice cream sandwich. I forgot about it. And it uh -huh. has not melted! Coconut. Yes. I love you coconut ice cream. Okay. And, and Steph says, of course, I can't wait to watch. MC Campbell Thank says, are, how are you allocating the pins between online sales and live sales since you were... I have no idea. Pop Gallery's doing that. Yeah. They can have that. Yeah, that's it's it. it's in their hands. Yeah. Uh, Kintra says, can't wait until Disneyland is open and you guys can come this direction. Mm -hmm. All right, so now it's time to do that raffle. Okay. So oh, thank, you, thank you yeah, for your patience. Person, person. Mm. We pick the winner first, right? Yeah, you pick the winner first and then you pick the prize. It's, it's more surprising that way. Oh, chocolate Lady all over me. Silent Song. What is it? Lady Silent Song. Oh, that's a beautiful screen name, yeah. Lady Silent Song. Okay. Congratulations. We're going to see what you want. Okay, one second here. Oh, I'm just going to pop this in here. Let's see what you're getting. Sign print of the week. Hey, hey, hey. All right. And I happen to have one here. I have not signed it yet, but I will, and we will ship it to you. Oh, is my screen not working anymore? I guess it's. I guess. <laughs> I, I, well, I guess, guess we're right done. <laughs> no. We're not going away yet. Okay. Okay. But you have one of these. I will autograph. Let it me. is an East in our museum, and we will send it to you. Thank you. We, of course, tomorrow is the big Wednesday. Not just because it's St. Patrick's Day, apparently, but I will be at Disney Springs from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the Marketplace Co-op over on the Marketplace side of Disney Springs. Yeah, Marty says, see you guys tomorrow. Yay! Yeah, I'm going to see some of you guys there. I'll be drawing. Come look at me draw. Go to the Pop Gallery kiosk. Wednesday Even if you're a Virgo tomorrow. or a Capricorn, you're welcome to come. You, yeah, a uh, Capricorn. <laughs> No, just kidding. Gosh, I, I, it, I, I, it, one of my favorite people is my nephew, Luke, and he's a Capricorn. So yes, I'm he's not, super awesome. Yeah, I'm really not dogging on Capricorns. But, um, and then, of course, Pop Gallery opens their kiosk at noon tomorrow simultaneously. They're somehow, I don't know how many are going where, but you can ask them. They might tell you. I don't know. But they're going to have the online launch at um, Pop Gallery or Lando.com. I believe they ship worldwide, and you can order online, or if you're in Florida... Come to Disney Springs, get your pin set, bring it over to the co-op. And visit our friend Tom at Dockside Margaritas. Go to Dockside Margaritas and, and ask tip for Tom, Tom really well. Tip Tom very well. I have not gotten to visit Tom at Dockside Margaritas during COVID. He's coming by with he's his. A uh, fan. He's come by. He's coming he's by with a, a coloring book for his sister. Yes. On on Wednesday. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, he emailed <laughs> earlier. Oh wow, fabulous. I can't but believe I got back to him. So, if you see a guy with a cast member thing that says Tom. And you're at the dockside margaritas. Tip him well and say that Jasmine sent you. Tip him 40%. Say Jasmine, that Disney artist, she 40%. thinks you're great. Yes. 140%. 170%. Yes. No, super nice guy. But 
If, <laughs> just right. hand him your paycheck. What's Sign that? it over. If he signs under it, you can he can just take it straight to the bank. Exactly. Yes. Well, then he's the credit. Take care of Tom. Business. Okay. All right. On that note, um, yeah, we'll see you, some of you tomorrow. We will see some of you next Tuesday. We won't see anybody on Sunday because we're going to be busy, and Twitch is on Tuesdays now. So we will see you soon. All right. See you later.